Ngon. Howdy everyone. No recap, but I will read the uh the well, prompt the preview for this session. A mysterious a mysterious meeting in a mystical place. What awaits our heroes in the oasis? What will they find? Why? Why is there a convergence of elements? And why did Irina want them to come here? Oasis of the Oasis of the Stars. Blah, fuck. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, we are picking up just directly with everyone um, heading to uh, the Oasis. As you guys decided to go to the canyon, to go through the canyon, since you know, where you're going is the oasis, which is in the canyon, so, yeah. Yeah. So. Be right. Uh, yeah, seems like a good time. And, uh, I'd say just with you guys going, who wants to roll me a 2d12? Sorry, not 2d12, just a d12. I'll do it. Okay. Five. Five? Okay. Please roll me a 2d6. Oh, anybody a d2d6? Alright, 2d6, there we go. Six. Okay. Alright, um... So, it is... Um, it is around, since I imagine you all woke up early, do whatever shopping or anything, you had to any last minute prep for the day, if there was anything. So, it's still morning, not mid-morning or afternoon, it's around nine. And, yeah, Kate is a buzz today, talking about the new friend she made uh, in the city. Mm. And yeah, she is just super ecstatic that she met uh, a boy in the city that um, was, yes, that was, uh, that had really cute ears and tail and he was really fun. And he even showed her that he could do magic and he was awesome and he did all these cool tricks and he was and uh, he even uh, showed her this this cool uh, magic trick that she can't do, but she 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 likes it. What? And is just yeah. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> mm, that is that is just her for like the first few hours of the trip. Hmm. Uh, Jesus Christ, ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you posted. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Moving on. Um, but yeah. Uh, Lucina is actually, um, Going to oh, yeah. go to gonna go to oh what you were saying something? No oh, no no go ahead. I'll say it after. Uh, she was gonna go to she's gonna go to Koratash. Oh fuck shit. <laughs> yes. Oh no, somebody's talking to me. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, Lucina is actually gonna go to Koratash and go. I I found something I can actually use these stamp things for. She holds up the uh the little, um, like, 
the weird watch, the the lo the oversized watch. <laughs> Pitbull, yes. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay. Uh. She. Hi. Uh. She looks at you and starts uh like typing on it. And the message appear and she she presses something and the message appears on yours or rather it appears saying that you got a message doesn't make any sound though uh but there's a little light that kind of blinks and then just you know it's a dull light so it's probably not going to give uh, you away unless you're in complete darkness <laughs> i just had a real funny scenario where i'm in just darkness hiding from random things and then just like <laughs> and just like just... <laughs> Ding, uh, you've got mail. You've got. It doesn't make any. It, it doesn't make any noise, but it does. It does give off a light, a little orange light. You are found out. <laughs> um, I I, uh, I I press the thing. I press the screen. Uh, you press. Yeah, you you press uh, you press the button to see the message and say. Like, I, and on it it says, I think she has a crush. And then just like a, uh, kind of, oh. kind of just. What, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Huh? Just looks at him, types on the thing. She looks like she's having fun just doing this. It's like, oh God, she has a phone. <laughs> and you're the this. only person she you're the only one want this. <laughs> um, anyone your boy hey your boyfriend might want this phone uh, she also but, uh, uh, yeah. But yeah she she basically is just like you know, she, I think she likes I think she likes that boy she's talking she can't stop talking about it's a little annoying but also I think you I think it's more just annoying. Huh. I I, I guess I, I don't see it. I say out loud. <laughs> <laughs> she looks. See, it's like Cortez. She can. You can type with the letters on this. What? Yeah. You can. You can like. You, you just I like. Thought, I thought we were just casting message. No, no, you just, just, no, you just you can you can you can move over to, to like my icon, click on it, and then type a message to me. Alright. I'm gonna send this to you and you alone, so hold on. All right. <laughs> or just goes to the thing. He he sweats as he slowly types buttons on the keyboard. <laughs> then he presses it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Does that work? I, Did it work? The first thing that you... Did it work? That's so immature is yes, you see hers light up and give up a little orange light. <laughs> By the way, All right. the message does have a preview function so if you look at it when you when, when the message is is given you see the beginning of the message <laughs> so she didn't even have to open it to see like really wow that really works yeah so whoever has this can um can communicate and when i'm in my suit i tested this out mm. if you send the message to me when i'm in my suit it pops up. Ooh. But if you want, you can send a message to this thing or the suit. So that means three of us can have this. You Would can have yours. Will have it again? Uh, she has. She's holding on to this one. Mm -hmm. But I. But I gave her one that was broken. I assume she fixed, and I think this is the one yeah. that I have. This is the one. That, yeah, this is the one that you have. Um, and she linked up both of them. Uh, she linked up a basic feature 
to these two and her suit. She can't type back in the suit, mm. but in her suit, and with, you know, as long as you're holding these, they give off uh, your vital signs. So essentially, oh. you can check the vitals of whoever is uh, using, whoever has this. Yeah. If you go no, no you, you explained that a long time ago about yeah. the vital signs. Uh, or if she's in the suit. Yeah, Simone. Hmm? Mirror? Oh, sure. What's up? I take the pit boy off and I clamp it on Simone's, on Simone's arm. <laughs> okay, what, what's, what is this? This will help you uh, keep tabs on them. I point to Lucina. Oh, uh, what? Neat, I guess. Yeah, now you can always keep in contact with each other. Uh, wait, should I give this one to somebody else so no. we, got, we spread it out? Uh, I mean, that's up to you, that's yours. But that was mine, so I can do what I want with that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, maybe we can split up, uh, this means we can split up the sending stones as well. Uh, yeah. That, uh, that, uh, Cardis, do you have one? Uh, what's a sending stone? <laughs> Fuck uh, off, I'll you know what a sending stone is. <laughs> on <Honestly. laughs> me. Hold on. Uh, Wait. If you get if you get less than five, or if you get no, if you get five or less, you don't know what it is. Intelligence, fucker. Uh oh, uh, I'm not only intelligence. Okay. What's a sending oh. stone? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, uh, it. It's uh, this magical item that, when linked with another stone, you can say, um, allows you to speak with that person. Oh. That sounds Julian. convenient. Yeah, Julian has the master one. Mm. Uh, that connects stones as well as... Is that why you guys look like idiots when you talk into that rock? I... I Pretty guess. Much. I... Cool. Hmm. <laughs> But yeah, you can have mine uh, now. Cool. I take it. <laughs> Here we go. Look at, just like looking at Lucina. Do you look that silly? <laughs> I'm gonna look at you while I do it. And I just like put it up to my head and I crouch down low and I look to whisper to the sending stone like a fucking weirdo. Come to Jimmy. This is pains and gravy. Is that, is that what I look like? It's just like. <laughs> You're making no. you're making it weird, Kordash. You're making it weird. All right, it's not it's not that weird to talk into the rock. I can't I say it. Oh God! I just this. I use Thaumaturgy from uh, the other mount. It looks weird anyway. <laughs> See? I'm just this. <laughs> I go back to mocking <laughs> someone. <laughs> <laughs> I should protect the bees. Okay. Bees detected. <laughs> uh, I'll see. I make shadows <laughs> now. You know, if I wasn't uh, used to being insulted at this, this would be cool offensive. <laughs> right. Oh, wait, you too? What the fuck? <laughs> it's just like, who said that? Yeah, Lucina just there. You too? Uh, yeah. How, wait, why are you used to that? <laughs> she just flick. She just flicks her ears. Oh, oh. <laughs> racism. Part. I'm. 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 My part dog. Yeah, when I was younger, people, people, uh, didn't say it to my dad's face, but they they'd call they'd call my dad a dog fucker. Mm. Alright, out of game. Out of character. Daz? I mean, yeah. No! Out of character? She was a... Bitch breeder would no. have been better. Yeah, I mean, she... like... There's so she many... Was... She... Like, furs probably doesn't exist in this world, but Yiffer is definitely... <laughs> well, <that's> definitely. <laughs> and oh, here's the thing. Is a thing. Yiffer. Yeah! Here's the thing. <laughs> she was a normal... She was a normal lady. Until the radiation hit. Well, that's not 
<laughs> Guess what? Kids don't <laughs> give a shit about that, though. Exactly. Taz is like, hey, I'm those kids. <laughs> exactly, I would be one of them. No, I wouldn't. Uh, I would probably be like, oh, cool, dog ears. And then, and anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, you guys going through, you actually uh, see that there's a, what looks to be, this is weird, a fire elemental. Oh, shit. <laughs> that looks like it has, it, that looks like it has, like, half of its body squished under the side of a, like, like a rock slide hit there it. There I go. And... <laughs> and right. with this time, and around this time of the day, it's getting hotter. Yeah, but I... the river also seems to be like it's rising closer to it, and it's like it's starting to freak out. <laughs> yeah, I go to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I, I jump off and I just go to it and I'm like, all right, buddy. Hey, I'm a wind shaman. No, right, I get it. Stop the fox. Calm down! It, it looks at you walking <laughs> towards it and r roll me animal handling. <laughs> uh, oh god, he's gonna turn me into wind! <laughs> you don't know I'm a wind shaman. Oh my god. Nat 20. Nat 20? Alright, well, first of the session. It looks at you. See? Sees you moving towards it. And it kind of just relaxes, but yeah, glances at the river. I pull out my totem, like, yeah, I got this. And I begin to... Tentatively, I was going to use shaman magic. I stopped using shaman magic, or spirit magic. And I go into martial arts stance of the earth, and I begin to move the rock away from its body. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, no, that's fucking awesome. And... Yeah, no, uh, with you doing that, you actually see as... As it, like, as you move it off, it's like... <laughs> oh, it starts rushing towards you, and it's like looking back at the rock and hisses before it spits at the rock and melts a small little piece of it. Okay. As you see, this little critter. Fuck this thing. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, Jesus. As, uh, it, is, it is hot. It is hot just being near it. It's a small creature, too. Mm. Hello! Hello. I, uh, I, I mind link with it. Uh, you mind link with it. Uh, does that have an intelligence requirement? Let's see. <laughs> uh, it doesn't. No, it has to be able to understand language. Okay, so it has to have a language. Uh, it does, really in fact. Copy and paste it, so you could. I'll just it's read fine. It loud. No. You can speak telepathically. Yeah. Anything you can see with a sixty feet of you. It's fine. I just need to know if it has an intelligence. Okay, that I believe you. I just need to know if it has need, if it needs if it needs a, if it has an intelligence requirement. You're good. I believe you. I trust you. I don't do well. It's been a while. It's good. Yeah. yeah uh, you speak to it. You mind link with it. It's like, oh, oh hi, Vicky. Oh. Ah. Hi. Oh no. Rock. Rock. Stupid rock. Big rock. Big rock walk. Make little rock fall. Stupid rock. I, I say this out loud to anybody that's nearby. Uh, elemental walked by knocking over a bigger, a smaller rock and made it land on this little guy. But I know what this thing is. Uh, you would have learned about denizens like this 
Roll me nature to see if you know what this one specifically is. Okay. The, the creatures like this are native to the elemental constellations. 11. Uh, Would I have 11? advantage? Would I have advantage? Yes. Alright, I'll... Because this this would have been on this not exclusively, but this would have been like what was a big right. part of your learn your teachings. Uh, this is a Salandrake. Like a salamander and Drake. So I see. Salamandria. Salamandra. Listen. Oh Sal come on. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Final uh, crazy. <laughs> Alright, that last one got me. All right, you know what? You know what? That last one. <laughs> All right. Um, slandrakes. Uh, slandrakes are are low level elementals that often um, burrow in mounds of molten rock. Usually, um, mounds of molten rock that are like cooled. Uh, mm, so like they after are. A volcano erupts. They're usually going to be there. Yeah, after an er a volcano erupts, they even will, because they, they try not to get crushed in the lava, but they will actually, like, almost like raccoons, gather on the edge, or like beavers, actually. They gather in different places, grab molten rock that's, like, flowing on the top, and yeah, make, it oh. make it into, like, these mounds. They're actually surprisingly strong for their size, but they're, like weak as hell and will die if like even if like five gallons of water like even two gallons of water maybe yeah, water susceptibility and all right yeah they will I, uh, essentially poof yeah i look at it and i'm like all right um and it's mine i i explain to everybody what this and uh okay. which you know explains why i was freaking out with the water oh, wow. yeah. Huh? This, Man. This thing. What? Oh. I am... Cortez. Ash. Like... Uh, ash. Ash, Ash, Ash! Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Cool. You can call me that. I don't want to pet it because it'll hurt. I take a stick and rub its head. <laughs> Technically, you could go in your stance of fire and try to that doesn't roll make me... something. Doesn't... You could try to roll something to, to try and to try and pet it. Mm. You know, being more attuned to fire, you're all you are an elemental monk. Uh, you can fire stance, and I'll use fire's <laughs> embrace to put my hand in fire so it doesn't hurt that much, and I pet it. Okay. Uh, roll me just a uh, roll me just a uh, wisdom check. It's a small effect, so it's not too difficult. I hear you. Need. This is a bunch of bullshit. I know, right? He's petting this thing and not you. I don't want to fuck it. 14? Easy enough. Alright. In fact, you don't even take half damage. You just don't take any. Alright, I pet it. Nice. And I tell it to go on its way. And I will call you... And I will call you Giel. For Gielmon. Gielmon. Uh, Cash deal, cash deal. As it starts running off, just reciting that in your head until you break the uh, you break the <laughs> the chain. Yeah, I do. I do so as it's out <laughs> of sight and I get back in the thing. Aw, that was that was kind of cute. And yeah, yeah you little... guys see it run up. <laughs> so guy, okay. we'll probably see it at the elemental convergence if we get yeah. there. And yeah. Well, back on our way. Mm. Do, do, do. Uh, 
as uh, do so. I would lie. Do what it's rage. Not. Don't have that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It only takes three levels of barbarian. <laughs> Storm Herald Barbarian. Sick. Um, I would like to uh, ask the wind a few questions. Dope. All right. All right first question. Wait. Is that shiny on. thing? Oh, okay. Damn it. B six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six. Six. <sighs> Hello. You're new. Uh, you're young. Ah. Uh, Okay. Question number one for you, if you would like answer. Answer. I ask you mean? <laughs> um. No. Any points of interest within a few miles of here, like within five miles of here? Other than the element of convergence, uh, which we're on our way of. Anything we should be worried about on our way there? What's interesting to you? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I hate you. <sighs> there is an old goat, or turtle, as it were, making its way. A turtle? A turtle. That interesting enough? <laughs> hmm. Do you know why the people are converging? Or why the elements are converging at this point? What are they talking about exactly? A powerful elemental who is a powerful elemental is calling for the convergence. One that has ties to our home and is getting fed information. Okay. Are there any shamans going to that uh, convergence? Yes. Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Goodbye, shaman. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker, probably me. I hate him. Karthesh, is everything okay? No, oh, just asking questions. <laughs> Yeah. By the way, every time he does this, he do, uh, you do hear him speak in a different language, as he described before, and you also see, like, a breeze kind of kick up around him. At least whenever he's doing it outside. When he's doing it inside, it's much less pronounced. Hmm. No, I'll just ask some questions. Oh, geez. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's other shamans going or not, or if he just meant me. Son of a bitch. What? That'd be kind of interesting to see how, um, what the other shamans are, are I've been, like. I've been avoiding shamans. Oh, I, how come? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's a long story. It's a very long and stupid story. We have a long way. 
can't be that oh, bad. You do, you, do, you do that, I'll be right back. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> Apparently, I am an anomaly when it comes to shamans or something like that. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Well, more like there hasn't been a wind shaman in a while. Oh. That seems a little unbalanced. Yeah. And or the monastery disappeared or something. Hmm. So, and it was even weirder that I was a male, I guess. Oh, is that, like, gender specific, I guess? I don't know. They never told me. But most of the shums I've seen were all female. Hmm. Even the ones that taught me were all female. Hmm. Well, I... I can understand that, but why do you want to avoid meeting other shamans? Because I was sent here for a reason. Mm. And, uh... I've been avoiding it, because other shamans are here to do it. And if it is one of the other shamans that are here, that's bad for me. <laughs> well... I could just try the old-fashioned way of looking for the library ourselves, avoid the... Always all together if it's that much of an issue. It's not. I'm just preparing myself for the inevitable. That's it. So I do appreciate that, but I also said I wouldn't mind going. Okay. And this is all for, all right. you know, Simone. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. Gives you a thumbs up, and I lounge once again. Alice will pipe up. <clears throat> if you're... What the hell? Yeah. Sure. Oh! The voice... Uh, you Some got the voice box talk. working! What oh, the uh, heck? Uh, guys. Uh, <laughs> I... Uh, I, we were looking for, in the city, a voice box for Alice. Uh, and Lucina was able to... Uh, see if they can manage something. I didn't know you guys completed it. Holy... Alice! Hello. You sound really nice. You sound really nice. They lower their head. Thank you. You sound great. I was just shocked. That's it. I... can... communicate now. I haven't found what else this can do, but I'm happy to talk. All right, out of game, real quick. So, I, mean, yeah. I was really hoping to do the Blue Beetle thing where they, they would have to speak through AM radio noises. <laughs> uh, fortunately, no. Also, I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> it's, it's just Kenku. That's it. AM radio. Ah. Uh, <laughs> nah. <That's it. laughs> uh, Kankus are just AM radios. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, you were saying house. Being afraid to see others isn't bad. As long as you're prepared, now you are. You could also try to go to the Sphinx. Mm. Uh, does Cortez know you've met the Sphinx before? Uh, How Simone, ha told Simone has not said. <laughs> okay. Mm. Also because he's I not trying to game Sphinx. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to manage what I say, just in case. Mm. 
All right. Uh, if we go to the Sphinx, this shouldn't be a problem either. So, are they the one that guess riddles? I'm really good at those. Uh, yes, actually, I was doing a lot of research on Sphinxes. Huh. It, it Did you know? A lot. <laughs> yeah. They they like to do uh, riddles and tests for um for passers-by. Mm. It's also it's also how they potentially could gain strength. Well, if they're not done growing, that is. See, sphinxes, uh, sort of cap off at a point once they reach the height of their power. They don't get any more strong. Um, mm. I, they also stop aging at that point. So, uh, so depending on the growth period, it take uh. That's when they're most uncertain with power and also at their weakest. Um, there's also uh, two different types of sphinx between dino, uh, dino and gyno sphinxes. Now you see, and someone goes on about this. <laughs> when you finish it, when you finish, Cortes, after listening to everything you said, this reminds me of a story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys uh, keep on your path. Do we? Yeah. Do we so go to guess? the Sphinx or do we, um, so do we, we go to the Conversions? Sphinx, are we heading to the Oasis? Either way, it gets what we're after. Guess what? Yep, I, I think it comes down to what Simone wants to do. Hmm. I wouldn't mind going to the Oasis, but I also don't really care if we don't. Hmm. If you ask Simone, like, well, that leads to a bit of an issue. Uh, we have to find where the Sphinx is. Um, Ah. The, the, we have a somewhat location to look for them, but it's uh, it's still a needle in the, in the desert scenario. I'm trying to remember, Sevi. When mm -hmm. I was at the top of that like tower, did I get a location on the Sphinx? You didn't see this. You didn't get a location on the Sphinx. But no, when did... I asked the wind. When I asked the when wind. You asked, when you asked the wind. Nah, yeah. there was nothing, okay. there was nothing. I do remember them saying there was like a sparkly thing at the edge of the five miles yeah. city. Yeah, well, like as far, like at the edge of your vision, you could see something sparkle off, uh, off in the distance. Mm -hmm. But that was all, that was all. And you guys yeah. did know from the Coatl, apparently the Sphinx was near this area. Yeah. Mm. Maybe they're at the oasis. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, you know, Cortez. We were also told to go to the oasis by Irina. Who? Oh, uh, the mayor. Uh, the mayor of Soma. Uh, she, uh, she wanted to give us a uh, a job over there to investigate it. Hmm. 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 Mm. Uh, that oasis of stars, as it calls, has a lot of mysterious happenings been going on. Well, yeah, there's an elemental there that called a meeting. Mm. So I wouldn't doubt it's the epicenter of something big happening. Mm. I guess we're going to the oasis then, I guess. Tracking on. A question, Sebi. How many days does Ooh. this take? Uh, days? Yeah, if oh. days at all. Uh, let's see. Uh, you guys would cap off right around. Uh, that would be. I'm going oh, through yeah, the away. Fuck clots. I don't give a fuck about. Uh, Klutz? Yeah, actually, where is Klutz? It was so peaceful. Shut up. Klutz is with us. You don't need him. No, Klutz, he's with not... you? Okay. Um. Yeah, no, when Alice talks. Oh, the sex toy talks. Oi. Huh? She. Klutz. Like, Alice looks at, uh. At Klutz. That's. Mm. Oi, that's rude. Don't refer to her as that. Who looks at Jolene? Right, right. We had a thing where we 
Right. Sorry. Sorry, Julian. Sorry, Alice. See? See? I'm learning. Inside thoughts. Keep, you know? Just, it's not bad uh, just, if you think it. I just say in Clouds' head, you were thinking something so much worse, weren't you? What? No, no, no. I, that was no, complete impulse. Mm. <laughs> just look in chat. <laughs> just like, good chair. Oh, kill him. <laughs> See? That was like, why are you so angry? Fucking close. <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah no, uh it's like So fine, sorry, sorry. I won't think it. I'm not gonna bother rolling deception. Yeah, I know I know he's lying. <laughs> I don't know if she's lying. Uh so it's like Cuts, I will just send you back if you keep this if you keep doing this. Fine, jeez. That's the first time that actually worked. Ah, yeah. I mean, she, the kid threatens to kill a goblin. I make a, I make a snide comment, and all of a sudden, I'm in because the doghouse. You, you probably, <laughs> dog you made several snide comments. <laughs> uh, the dog house. <laughs> Anyway, let's get going. We have how many days? <laughs> uh, uh, so the end of your travel, well actually no, near the end of your days, your, your day of travel, uh, well actually no, because you guys can go for 16 hours. Yeah, no, um, I'm gonna be real, uh, you guys can get right about here by the end of your day, but, um, Right around, right around this point, uh, -huh. uh you run into something else. As... Uh, wait, hold on. Yeah. Mm hmm So, we get there in the same day? Not in the same day, but you'll be on the edge of it. Basically, you'll be in the green area, but not necessarily in the oasis <laughs> proper. Alright. We're like, the... right there. <laughs> You're, like, right there. Technically, if you force marched, I want to read a story. I mean, you can. Nothing have. stops. Nothing can stop. Nothing stops you from you. Technically, you could do it during travel. Can I? But if you wanted to, but if, yeah, I mean, sure. If you wanted to do it uh, during uh, campfire time, though, yeah, it would be, it would be, uh, what's it called? Right around. It would be at the end of your day. Uh, that's that's all I wanted because I want the, the effect of the Tome of Dreams to happen the next day. No, no, it will. Um, but you actually, you guys will see another thing as it's kind of hard to miss. Uh, so remember the turtle. <laughs> turtle. 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 As you see, as uh, Julian, you, you'll you're resting at this point, and I imagine since Kortash was uh, resting before, Kortash and, and you are now mount are now like driving Raglan block. Mm -hmm. oh, actually, uh, you were you were up you were there. So Lucina and and Kortash at this point. So oh, okay. it's so uh Lucina was looking out there. Is that a tree? Cortash, you see that? Do you see big tree? Like huh. Yeah, no, I see it. What <laughs> what what the... What's a tree like that doing all the way out to hell? I I can't um You wanna go see it? Kinda. 
<laughs> As, uh, like, you want to take Rago and block there, or just park him for a bit and we go and check it out? I'm not, I'm not the greatest at these moral decision calls, especially <laughs> I go along. Uh, I'll take Rago Block so that Julian and Simone can come out and help us. Cool. Um, I, I just, I, I ain't never heard of a tree like that out here. Like, not even during the wet season. What does a tree look like? Uh, the tree looks like, um, like... You know, like, it's a large, tr it's like a large trunk with, like, that goes up and has these, like, like a big bushel of leaves. Like, we're talking a full, like, canopy this tree has. Like, it looks like it's fully grown from sapling to full tree. And out here, that's, that's just awesome. crazy. Hmm. Like, you have, you have, like, bushes, shit like that. Like, across, like, even in the away, even, like, uh, out this far, where you're over by the, like, in, in the canyon. You can see where, like, during the wet season, the water would be way higher. But even during this season, you just see grasses and, like, like, other little things. Hell, even up top, when you were looking up top and you were seeing, like, all throughout the city, there were trees quotation mark but they were like four feet this looks like a, a full-on fucking 20 foot tree interesting uh when we get 20 feet from the tree i stop rago and blanc oh funny thing is as you uh you curve around uh like you take an, uh, a separate path in the canyon to like detour and see the tree Fuck. You see, you see the tree is attached to something. Oh. As you see this fucking thing. It's loading from it. Door, door. Door, door, door. And it's... Yes. And, it's and it's big. Like, it's... <laughs> it's big. Like, it has... A full-on tree growing through the rock, and then it has little kind of bushes oh, of shit, the tree the mega evolved. <laughs> through it's like the mega. different pieces of the rock. And it's like, is, wait, is this the big fucking earth elemental? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. As you immediately think about you know, earlier that day during the morning, as you're like in the evening now and seeing this fucker, um, slowly but surely, slowly but surely, <sighs> and it's just like it's not moving fast. Like it'd be very clear, it's not moving fast, but it's just mm -hmm. steady, just steadily going. Like it's trucking through. I uh. Like, uh. I, uh, <laughs> I get off Rago what and or block, the... I, I get over to it. <laughs> hey! I'm, I'm, I'm here with you, what the heck? Hey! I mean to speak Quarry. <laughs> to see if it understands that. <laughs> no, no response? No response. I jump on its back. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. uh, and I'm mind link with it. All right. So, buddy, where are you going? Lady, water, called meeting. Oh, you're going to the thing. Oh. I love him. <laughs> Do you need a... You got a name, buddy? Name... 
nice human give name long time ago. Oh. Really? What was it? Hard remember. Hmm. Starts with C. Hmm. Name funny type of bird. Crane? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Did I get it? Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, nice to meet you, Crane. Crane Portus Portus. <laughs> As it laughs, you feel like the it, the it's the rocks and the tree kind of sway, and oh, oh, the Jesus ground Christ. kind of the ground around it. As Lucia is just like what, <laughs> it starts shaking a bit. As you can tell, this thing was one hundred percent the elemental because it's yeah. it can shake the earth casually. I this is a get, huge creature. Yeah, I get into earth stance to, to steady my position so I can keep on its back. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Because I am a stone anchor in Earth, in Earth. Um, nice. <laughs> I uh, look at him and I say, "Well, it's good to see you, Crane Thorsus. Um, hope to see you at the uh, at the uh, convergence soon." <laughs> Far. Hmm. As it's still walking the entire time. I, I kind of love this thing. <laughs> I love it too. I go to Lucina. I want nothing bad to happen to me. I hope to God nothing bad. You know what I'm going to do? Hmm? I'm going to look to Lucina. And I'm going to hmm? look and ask Lucina to get Sabone and Julian. <laughs> and she's going to say, all right, I'll... Looks at her <laughs> And she'll get a type of message. No, <laughs> they're asleep. They're resting right now. They're not going to hear it. Simone, there's a flashing as you're there, like laying down. Wake up. There's a there's a Wake there's up. a blinking in your in your face. Wake up, pussy. There's a blinking Wake orange up. light. Wake up. What's up? Uh, pussy. Wake up. Oh. You see, you see the watch that that uh, Kortash gave you. There's a, art gl a flashing yellow, uh, like, orange light, and you remember what they were talking about earlier today with mm. the watch. And you see my last message to Lucina that said dick butt. <laughs> <laughs> that is, in fact, the last message that you see. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, really. Oh. I, As, I type... Kortesh, uh, Kortesh, uh, wants you and Julian over here. Alright, on our way. It gets up. Wait a minute. How far away are they? <laughs> just like... Not very far, as you see Not very this. far. Did you see yeah. the yeah. huge... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I, when I say it's big, this thing oh. is big. Okay, yeah, I go wake right, up also, Julian. Alright, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna send a message to Julian. Still. You know what? You do that. I'll wake up Kate. <laughs> Alright. I, I wake up Julian. <laughs> Julian, in your head, you're there, resting <laughs> mentally. <laughs> hey, I guess a stone just. What? <laughs> Alright, come outside. <laughs> That's all I say. <laughs> He, he, puts the, he puts the stone face down beside him and head just conks. <laughs> and after, after, after a minute or so, he actually gets up. Okay. I, until you come outside, just here. Dead butt. Dead butt. Dead butt. 
<laughs> you asshole. Yes, I go. You see this fucking huge ass motherfucker. As it is slowly walking away, it's getting farther away. Like, it, here's the thing, well, it, you guys, it's making distance slowly, but it's making distance. Right. It, it Whoa. Making distance. Whoa, what is that? I'm on its back. Just like, uh, just like, uh, like, like, get Kate. Kate, can you, like, look at this. <gasps> what? That's the heck? That's a big this is the L. Yeah, his name is Crane. That's ironic, cause it's a turtle. <laughs> Crane tortoise. Humor, <laughs> Kate. Woody banter. Um... She's gonna jump off of uh, Rago and Blanc, and now that she's better at her stuff, is gonna summon her construct and use a um, and solidify it. So it gr it catches her, and then she just runs over to it. Careful! Hey guys, I have an idea to get this thing to the to the oasis faster. <laughs> oh, okay. They're front. Okay, what's up, Julian? Yes. You ever gauntlet? I do. Simone, can you mold, mold shadows into just about anything? If you uh, tried? Yeah, I guess. Alright, perfect. So Simone, I need you to try and lift this thing with your shadow just slightly off the ground. That's all I need. And then Julian, I need you to also keep it steady. Trust me. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'm gonna try, I've tried this before, but all right, that's that's the day fucking turtle with a mountain uh, on his back. The head, crane on the head. <laughs> all right, crane, we're gonna get you there fast. 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 Yes. <laughs> love I, him. I love him so much. <laughs> He don't yeah, nothing yeah. bad happened to him. He's a mountain, so we're gonna well, skip this fucking it. mountain across the sky. All right, ready? So, right. Sabone, okay. tangle shadows we're around gonna, him we're, like a rope. We're gonna we're gonna do this in order. Okay. So I need Simone to tangle shadows around him like a rope, and then I need Julia to lift him with the support right. of the shadows. Fuck. All right. Hold up. <laughs> Lucina is going to go and put on her armor. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> as much as the, the armor fucks with them, oh, this is a good idea. I really want just... Kate to make a comment right now. <laughs> what comment? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> just right. if they notice anything about Lucina. <laughs> oh, right. It's like Kate's just going to glance over. Lucina, your tits are gone. What? <laughs> As it's like, no, nobody look. <laughs> and she puts on the she Wait, puts what? on the armor. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's for later after we help Crane. I'm a gentleman, so I wasn't looking, but now I'm looking. As, I uh, I'll admit, I loved. You see that uh, her that she's wearing this. She's wearing a bra over her tits, and it, they're they're not there. Her tits aren't there. You see the bra. Right, she has the fucking bra of holding. She yeah. has the bra of holding. But um. So. But yeah, no. Um, Simone, how are you going to? To wrap the tentacles around them. <laughs> ben, I, I go lucky. They're tendrils. They're tendrils. They're... First off. Yeah. Secondly. The tendrils. Apologies. I don't want to. Apparently, I can't use the word tentacle. <laughs> not for not actual tentacles. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, okay. To wrap around them. So you. So the whole thing is trying to like lift him up, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. So, um, how many legs does this thing have? Hold on. Four. Four. All right, all right. You never Lots know with D&D. &D. <laughs> no, that's fair. 
I was about to say, I know, I know that the sword can make tentacles that pull things in and spikes that push things up. I want to know how you're going to make how you're going to make tendrils. Uh, maybe trying to, uh, using uh, dark spikes and uh, uh, void well, but not for actual damage, just for something like solidifying, right? Uh, I'm just waiting uh, for the day. And finally figures out how to make like creatures with the sword and then just summons the divine dogs from Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> just turns into Fuji Girl. Uh like So that's what you're trying to do? Yeah, try trying to like push uh it up, you know. So Simone, uh Your patron currently is also the void. Um y yeah, I was gonna say All right. These things are meant to do damage or hurt. Yeah. Explain to me how you're going to make them not do so. Yeah. Could I try to communicate with the void to, you know? How lovely. I'm glad you asked. Oh, yay. So you're going to try to contact the little well of power that the void is giving you? Yeah. The void well, as it were. Guys, give guys, give me a second. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. Roll, roll a charisma save. This guy suck. <clears throat> and a sanity, and a sanity check. Oh come on! <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> All right. Uh, charisma save. Is a uh, yeah. Three. Uh, I'm gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. How well you do on this will be. All right. Oh, okay. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Sanity check is only a twelve. A D twelve. Uh, do you D12? almost succeed that? Wait. Hold on. I need to look at my sanity DC. Whatever. <laughs> sanity. I know I have it written out. Uh, I think it? yours is twelve. I think it uh, really is. Wasn't his the same as mine? Yeah. It's the same as yours. It was 14. Okay. Yeah, it's 14, 14. So, yeah, so I can just bypass so it. You auto, so you auto succeed, and. All right, so you're able to speak with the void. You are not in that same place as before. You are right where you're standing and oh, focusing God. on standing <laughs> right where you are. You are very, very, very intentionally going, I am standing right here right now mm. as to not fall back into that place yeah <laughs> the sucking place all right you you are you're you're it's real able... it's you're in contact it doesn't say anything oh, but you're in contact oh. all right it's so it, it, okay so it can listen to me right i'm not it, waiting it, for it, it. Can, yeah can you help help me out in this scenario uh by not uh, so i'm trying so just to be just to be, i'm trying to create tendrils right uh Warpack. to 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 move it up is that the plan for uh, is that the plan you described uh, to him uh i want you to lift it yeah, I want you to lift it up supporting its body while Julian also lifts it up higher. Alright. Yeah, I... That's part I, one. That's an amazing plan. Uh, I need you... Uh, I need you to, to be able to lift this up. Uh, without hurting it all that much. Alright. Uh, why do you need this? What is this? Sentient rock have to do with our agreement? It doesn't. But uh, if we aid the sentient rock, it could aid us in the future. I don't care. Go ahead. I will guide you. I will guide your hand to make sure it doesn't hurt.
All right. You can now use your dark spike or whatever feature that you want to use without the without it being harmful. Sick. I do that. <laughs> okay. So which which ability are you using? Dark spike or dark spike and something else or does it change? <laughs> uh, it might. Yeah, I'm just like Cause this takes a good bit of my void points. <laughs> uh, dude, uh, I'll just say I use Dark Spike, I guess. Okay. Hmm. So you stab the blade into the ground, and luckily the sun is not. It's, it hasn't set, but it is at least not directly on you guys in the canyon. Hmm. But it um, it does like the this trail of shadow goes from the blade and underneath, and it curls around each one of its arms, far larger than the normal radius of Dark Spike, and basically lifts it underneath all of its arms, and start and then there's like a large almost like pillar underneath pushing it up while the shadow tendrils pull huh. and it's so you can see it slowly getting like being lifted as it's still trying to walk while it's being lifted Cortez mm -hmm. <laughs> alright uh, let him stop. no 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 let it keep uh, uh, you just gotta keep it there for a little bit Julian yeah Grab it <laughs> and lift it up overhead. <clears throat> I'll help. I'll help him. Uh, All right. Okay. Uh, as Kate, Kate's yeah. just like, and I'll help too. <laughs> gonna, Kate's not. Kate ain't doing shit. I'm gonna reach into my bag and pull out the. I got a psychic werewolf. It could help. Yeah. I'll pull out the rage potion. Oh, <laughs> for this. <laughs> I mean, sure. I can enhance ability for you real quick if you want. No, I used to push him. I get my stuff back on a short rest. Should be fine. Alright. If, if, do you have a, a going currently? Uh, I No, I don't have anything going. Yet. What I'm going no. to do doesn't require... No, no, I mean, do you have it like, uh, prepared? I haven't re-prepared my spells in the last five weeks. I'm sure I can, and we're going to sleep. I'm sure. Yes. I said it would let me. It doesn't matter. I don't give a damn. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And yeah, I'll attempt to lift this mountain overhead. With advantage. With the okay. Of, of the bull. Please use your uh, Yeah, I was Please about just... to say, but what's your uh, strength score? <laughs> I'll use three charges of the gauntlet. Three? Yeah. <laughs> what is with you and you every time you use a gun? Alright, so time to use all. <laughs> I'd have, my modifier would be a. Is this just straight strength or is it athletics? Uh, this would be. I mean, we could count this as like a. Not a deadlift, oh. but like. We so, could count this as something. If you want athletics. If you, if you want. A more detailed approach of what's going to happen. Julian's going to throw it. <laughs> yeah, Lucina can essentially get underneath. She has powerful build and a pl and a sixteen strength in the armor, but uh, in her power armor. But that's that's in the power armor, and that's nowhere near what Julian is going to is about to have. I'm pretty sure. Mm. So would it be athletics or just strength? Uh. uh Athletics, since athletics? you know it's essentially athletics. All right, I have uh, plus twenty. Plus twenty. <laughs> All right, but it, well, uh, what's your With strength? Score? Uh, what's your strength score? Score is a uh, fourteen. With advantage, 14. that'd be a passive five. That'd be a passive five, and, and each charge gives me all... and each charge gives me a plus five. Gives you a plus five, so. Somebody do the math for me. So, that's so 19 plus 15 is 34. 
34. Oh. Okay, and you have powerful builds, so you count as a, so you it, it'll count as a large picture for this. <laughs> and I'll throw on guidance. Oh. Why why not? You know. All right. You have the thrown on guidance. Zero. What's uh, that? Her roll the guidance. Zero, Zero the hero. Yeah. One. So, so right. 30, 35. 35. Okay. So, so Julian. And actually, you're you're getting ready. Just as you're like, all right. Gauntlet, we gotta help this thing out. The gauntlet's like, all right. I, I guess we are help. I I guess we are we are helping this thing. Sure. And then you're gonna use all three charge, all three charges. Would Simone, the, would the wolf, you are struggling. Would the wolf be able to help me at all? Roll me a charisma check. <laughs> oh no no! I just take all the time you need. I'm just like. <laughs> <Nine>. <laughs> Nine? That's nine. Mm -hmm. Nine, 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 nine. Yeah, no. Alright. And yeah, just thirty-five. Alright, so just thirty-five and you count and you count as a large creature for this. Um So Julian, with three charges from the gauntlet, you feel this pulse of strength through the arm. As yeah, you are able to you are able to hold this thing. Co Honestly, Korakash stand like sitting on it doesn't even like doesn't even count as a drop in the bucket to how heavy this thing is. It is heavy. It is as if you are trying to lift up a small mountain. But you're you're doing it. You're like surprisingly doing it, kind of. All right. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. All right. I'm going to say on the count of three, or some steady aim it in direction toward the, the oasis. All right. Simone, I need you to make me, uh, one, a strength check. Oh, Christ. <laughs> and then two, I need you to make me a constitution save. All right, God. Uh, can I pass the strength check? Like, is it is it possible for me? Yes, it so, is. Yes, it is. Okay, okay. Not twenty so here, is what they said. Here we go. <laughs> Sixteen. You are able to, with the help of Lucina, kind of helping you and helping you and uh, and Julian, kind of like move this thing in a direction to kind of aim it. She is helping you guys aim. Alright. All right. Now for roll the con me, check. Roll me a con save. I believe in you. 17. You oh. succeed! You succeed! <laughs> you're, you feel the tendrils, like, letting go, and it's almost as if, like, your grip on the sword and you're feeling some of the weight feed back to you, and it's like, it's only a portion of the weight. Fuck, it's heavy. Alright. And... It's it's aiming. It's aimed. All right. I'm going to run off the turtle, jump behind it where everyone's aiming it, and mm -hmm. still in earth stance. Okay. As I move it's... myself to the ground as a stone anchor. It's off the turtle, right? Kate's oh, it's... It's not on the turtle. Turtle's never on the turtle. Okay, fair enough. Be on the turtle. I. Take it say that again. In. I need. No, I need to see. I need you to say that. I need to hear it in full. <laughs> Who, me? me. Yes. Uh, yes. Cortez jumps off the turtle, landing like a like a like a rock, anchoring himself to the ground while he's still in earth stance. He takes a deep breath in, um, contemplating a, a lot of things in this moment. And in that moment, doubt leaves his face as he smiles. A first genuine smile in a long time as he takes in a deep breath and he's going to use every last ounce of energy that he has in his body for catapult as he tells Julian to throw Fuck the turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I want you 
So do me a favor. Roll Arcana with a pl with a plus one for every point of for every point of key and for every point of your of your uh, like every point of key and every point of spirit that you put into this okay. above the cost. Above the cost. Okay. Above the cost. So I pull the first level, and I'm just mm -hmm. gonna Hana. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you. This is a hard check. It is a D. It, this is gonna be a DC thirty. But Ooh. you can fucking do it with a bonus like that, I believe. I uh, I don't think I can. <laughs> how many key points and how many spirit points? I mean, you know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. You pumping everything in. To this. Yeah. Quick, Julian, bring him some guidance. <laughs> oh, fuck! We didn't need it! 34! What a god! 34! What a god! He got a god! What a god! He's him! <laughs> so, do you so, see so uh, I jump down as I do the earth bend, and as I put all that energy into it, um, there is a slight crackle of lightning. As the wind, like a railgun, I tell Julian to throw the turtle and for Simone to let go. Julian, roll me a attack roll with your strength. Yes, this is improvised. No, you are not proficient, but roll it. As um, when Julian throws it, I'm going to say a thing, one last thing telepathically to uh, to Crane. I suppose he wouldn't give me an act on this. I will allow it. Oh, there you go. There you go. 35. Fucking mad lad. Alright. As a uh, crane gets launched like this, you hear a. <laughs> I Wait, hold on. Crane. See you there! As he goes flying, as there is a gust of wind that almost like pushes behind, like almost like the gas of like almost like the gas from like a gun, how it basically will mush will push back in on itself. As he is fired, and there's this thud of energy as Julian launches it, and you just Send it. As you see Crane go fing into the distance. And honestly, it is a distance as you, you see him. Wait, did he go over the canyon? Oh no, he's going back down. Don't oh, he's, tell me I did. He's he's okay. going back down. Okay, wait, yeah, okay, he's he's below the can you can't see him anymore. And you just see that you guys threw him far. Um Kartash, your unless your muscles hurt more, you're just like you feel like almost like not ner not nerves being uh, fried, but like you know like you know like you know like uh, the ache after like the next day after a workout. Yeah, I feel it instantly. It's yeah, it's like if you feel that instantly. It's less of like the strain on the muscles, but more just strain on your magic circuits, like. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, did we man do a heroic action? <laughs> yeah, no. Julian, uh, yeah. uh, uh, I was rolling the con the, um, to see if his body held up. It does not. Uh, Julian, the rest of your body, fine, except for your, uh, except for the arm with the with the gauntlet. That one is like l hanging limp to your side, like. And you just feel in the gauntlet, like you feel a, like a like a sense of a like of, of accomplishment. It's almost like I a worth, like a worth it kind I'm, of feeling. I'm gonna uh, press <sighs> to see if it's like dislocated, if it's broken, or if it's just you know dead. Nah, nah. It's just it's just dead for now. 
Like it's just it's just it won't move. You can't make you can't make it move for hmm. now. You can't force me to move. For instance, uh, for reference, remember when uh, Oma got hit by uh, that fucking superhuman guy for blocking, and then he untested untensed his arm, and it just went dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Bad. That arm specifically okay. just won't move until uh, until you take a long rest. <laughs> so until the next morning, that that arm is just refusing to move. You'll have to do you'll have to go through the rest of your day with one arm. Uh, I'm glad we're resting. Gortes Gort Gort stretches and he goes back to the to Rago and Blanc. <laughs> you see, uh -huh. he's there, like like oh wow, you all look. Oh, oh wow! As... Oh, no. I know I can do that. I want to start. I'm really glad I'm inside here. I don't want to get my guild off. Throat, you uh, feel you feel better than the both of them. As the only thing hurting is like your chest. It's almost it's almost, it's only like a small pain in your chest. Like ah, huh? Oh. That's that's uncomfortable. It's like you swallowed something too big for your chest, and so it's like a lump. It's like, oh, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, it oh. was like, man, that, look, that, look, that fall looks like it hurt. It's just like how my chest hurt. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> oh. Congratulations, all, to all of you get a fate point. That I would, I will yeah. count that as a heroic action. Yeah. I will count that as a heroic action. <laughs> Oh, I, just... I mean, if we don't see that turtle there by <laughs> tomorrow, I'm gonna be pissed. I just want to <laughs> say that is the hypest we've been in one of these games for a bit, and that's throwing a fucking turtle. That we I just made a mail wave. <laughs> <laughs> So, so Cortez, how did you master the Kamehameha? Oh, I threw a turtle. <laughs> oh, I threw a turtle. Also, the idea that Cortez had to mix Earth stance and wind is funny to me. The two elements yeah. that clash the most. You found harmony. And our yeah. harmony's name was Crane. Funny. Crane! Crane the turtle! <laughs> It's so cute! He's a lion turtle! He did it! <laughs> it was destiny! Sebi, yeah. you, be you better put Crane in Guest Wing. Oh what? my god, I'll put, I'll, I'll put Crane in Guest Wing, alright? I'll put Crane in Guest Wing. Uh -huh. <laughs> he deserves it. <laughs> If oh, anything happens to Crane, I'll kill everyone here and then myself. <laughs> so wait, this happened on the way to where we're stopping, right? This is on the way. You guys were like, this is like a few hours before you bed down for the night. Like four okay, hours how, before How you much am I struggling trying to climb up one arm? Uh, well, you know, your arm, your arms are really what's hurting. Your legs hurt. Like everything hurts right now. But you, that one arm is really the struggle. Everything else is okay. Okay. You can you can climb a ladder one-handed. You're good. You're also you are you're a fit guy. All right, you so know, climbing a ladder one-handed ain't too crazy. Need to make sure. It's only the problem is that it's a rope ladder. So you know, as long as somebody holds it taut, you're fine. Okay, you know for sure. Weird. You know for sure that Klutz is fucking with that ladder. <laughs> Yeah, well, actually, right. question. What's Kate, Clutz, and Alice's reaction to all so, this? So, Alice's reaction to all of this was staying quiet and just watching the comedy of how well all of you work together. She saw you all fight. But then she looks at this, it's like they are working so well together in this moment. Hey guys, Yet they were yeah, fighting. We <laughs> Yet they were fighting like. They were struggling, like, to fight as a team. They were going in, on separate sides, yet they are fighting so... Yeah, they did this, like, so well. And she's just there mildly confused. How? <laughs> Kate was there, like, like, why? When, like, when it got lifted up. Then when, like, it's, it's being like a catapult. <laughs> and then just... Hurt, like you know, like sees it go. Oh wow! 
I'm just like, huh? It really is like a catapult. <laughs> See, now what we gotta do is we gotta figure out a way to do this on a smaller scale. Yeah. Like a rock or something. <laughs> And then that's our team ultimate. That's, that's the that's the that's the um, what's the Persona Royal bullshit? Our Showtime. Uh, yeah. Oh, all, 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 all attack. They're all all attack and Showtime. Oh, uh, so Klutz is with, just um, Klutz, Klutz is just there. He, Klutz was watching all this. Was watching the turtle. It's kind of just like, no, no, no. I don't want to fuck with this. I won't fuck with this. I want to watch. I, I want to watch and see if it, it see if Simone drops it on on Julian. And then, like, and then it did, then he didn't. And then it was like, well, shit, motherfuckers. I did wish it. I fucked with it. <laughs> uh, exactly. It's like, man, I was hoping I didn't have to, and Simone would just drop it on Julian. Yeah, now we fucking chill the fuck out now. <laughs> we get the rest of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Kate is just like, does this mean I should drive? Uh, it's up. Lucina and Mickey, so at you guys oh, We're all okay. dead. <laughs> no, don't, don't do. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can uh, smell it. Oh god. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys keep uh, going. I have, I have bad feelings about using a lot of energy all at once, and I, I, I thought I was gonna fucking explode again. <laughs> As, uh, yeah, you guys all go for like another, like, Four-ish hours, a little less than. Like, Julian then you guys... and Quartet, just fucking like, Simone are just dead in the tent. <laughs> Kate's just sitting up there, like, uh, Quartash, you sure I, you sure I, I shouldn't take over? It's okay. There's no. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> and she just like, wait, I have an idea. Metal will uh, use her her solidification to make a bag <laughs> for you to throw up into. And then she just then holds it on the outside and just just like it makes it disappear and it just yeah. flats outside. <laughs> I am getting better at this. So you really damn are. Cool. You're, you're just really useful. Thank she just you. Just looks back. Just looks back, make sure Samo didn't hear her say anything. What? Uh, lang uh, language? Oh god, what's my chest hurt so much? <laughs> oh, sure. I thought I was gonna use a gust of wind. That's too small, my friend. <laughs> That's too small. As, uh, yeah. Did you guys bet? Did you guys, uh, find a good spot? It's like... It's late, you know, um... Like around nine, so sixteen hours later. What time would it be? If we rest, is that that's what we do? We sleep. That's what time it is. <laughs> uh, sixteen hours later. It's like one a.m. Yeah. Yeah. We sleep. And uh, <laughs> just Lucina's just there setting up for camp. You guys gonna? You guys? Are you guys gonna come down from there? Uh, we'll, we'll be right down. Sorry. No, I've been stabbed, All the guys are burned, dead. shot. Only half. Bitten. <laughs> that, that was rough. Okay. Wait, yeah, I'll go down to help as much as I can with setting up. <laughs> I just traced this plant on the ground as I try to leave Rago and Blah. <laughs> <laughs> can't you can't you use winds to uh, oh. <laughs> I, as Kate will just bust out laughing. <laughs> Cartosh! You can't fall asleep. Come on. I'm and she's going just... to like <laughs> I'm just imagining what they say like you guys go come down, you just hear thud, thud. 
Uh, Cortez, you said you would read a story. Come on, wake up. She's, she's gonna she's gonna materialize a rock and like and throw it one at him. Oh my God! Do you, wait, does, does anyone remember ah, that speeding dragon? Ah! <laughs> oh wow! I didn't expect it to hurt that much. Uh, what are you trying to say? <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't, I didn't. I thought you would just dodge it. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> man? Why? Oh, uh, you're sorry. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Go to my bag and I pulled the total dream. God oh. damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's Sorry. fine. I'll, just, I'll read a story. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I don't think Corpus minds all that much. I don't. Oh think. shit! Eighteen. <laughs> oh shit! Those I'm gonna read the story the before I tell you what it does. Because I have a story, and I, I pulled yeah. this one on random. One warm evening, many years ago, just nearly waking minute with her for eight straight days, I knew that I had to tell her just one thing. So late at night, just before she fell asleep, I whispered, her, I whispered it in her ear. She smiled. The kind of smile that makes me smile back. Oh. And she said, When I'm 75 and I think about my life and what it was like to be young, I hope that I can remember this moment forever. A few seconds later, she closed her eyes and fell asleep. The room was peaceful, almost silent. But lucky here was the soft purr for breathing. I stay awake thinking about the time we spent together and all the choices in our lives that made this moment possible. At some point, I realized that it didn't matter what we'd done or where we'd gone, nor did the future hold any significance. All that mattered was the serenity at the moment, just being with her and breathing with her. As we have advantage for, uh, we have advantage oh. on all skill checks. Oh, it's advantage? Yeah, oh, advantage. Damn, I thought that was high enough. No, we didn't get 20. That's 20. <laughs> oh, that's 20. Okay. Mm. So any oh, skill good. checks we have advantage on the next day? Fuck! For... Four hours. For four hours. Oh. Mm. Kate's just close. gonna sit... Kate's just gonna <laughs> sit there. Is that what love is like? Is that... Is that... What? I guess. Or I've never really it... felt anything like that, so... I don't know. I I I kind of I kind of get it, you know. It's just, you know, being with people that matter. Doesn't Yeah. I've also Yeah. Alice is just the there. And I pull up the deck of giggles and I throw a giggle in the direction. <laughs> <laughs> Kate's <laughs> just gonna look. What was that? She just goes and looks. You, you just hear. <laughs> those are those in the crota again. I'm gonna, I swear I'm gonna. <laughs> She's getting up. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it's a deck of giggles. Don't worry. You just oh. you just see Klux look at that. Wait, is that? Is that what I think mm -hmm. it is? What? Huh? Oh, oh, dude, I can't believe you have one of those. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I put it back in my bag. What? <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, let's play cards. No. <laughs> you know exactly what that does. Let's play strip oh, poker. Just like, it's fine. It's like, you don't wear clothes. <laughs> I know, that's why I know. That means I, I either always win or always lose. No, that means I shave you. Yeah. Wanna, <laughs> Not wanna so eager again? to play now, huh? <laughs> all right, if I win, if I win, all right, we shave you. I grab my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Come on. Come on, do you want to go? I put the deck away. Let's play. I go away. 
That's what I thought. P Pussy! Sorry. To die for you! Fuck! Right now, Julian is imagining what Tuss would look like without fur. Simone is imagining a bald Fortish. <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop! Not cool, dude! <laughs> Uh, go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. You're none of this. Uh, is going to spend that night uh, with a little bit of light. <laughs> uh, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Only the only if you do that in a Jamaican accent, that's the only way you get the true the true feeling of that of those words. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry, have you not heard that in a Jamaican accent? I have! Exactly. I'm not gonna say it, I'm, can I swear? No, 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 no. I say that word. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just, I know you know that I'm right. <laughs> I can hear it. You can't unhear it. You can't unhear it. <laughs> No one else knows what we're talking about, so let's move on! Uh, uh, I need somebody to just roll me a d20 <laughs> plus 11 for Lucina. I got it. Plus ah, 11. So rolling for your girlfriend. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta 16. do that. Uh, 16, alright, well, it's more than 7, so she, she gets the overcharge down on the new rifle she got, the Spire. Mm. Uh, um, oh, uh, if you don't mind, uh, could, uh, could Simone have a talk with, uh, Alice? <laughs> Go ahead, you know. Uh, you know, if it doesn't take too much of our time, and you know, I'll just do it. Alright, someone's gonna go up to Alice up to camp is set. <laughs> so Alice. Uh, man. <sighs> that was a crazy event, huh? <laughs> oh. A few hours <clears throat> excuse me. Oh a crazy a event. Few... No, 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 hold on. I need water. I need water you... to do her voice. Need Give water? Give me water. Give me a minute. We're going on break, all right? Go on break, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to go and get a lot of water, because I'm going to have to talk. By the way, the place where you guys bed down for camp, it's... The river is much... Much, like... It flows down over here, almost like mm. you can... You're not quite at a waterfall, but you can hear it. And you can see the green around you. The green. As, uh, yeah, no, this is this is a spot that is uh, especially lush. So it's kind of nice. It's also cool. And uh, unfortunately, um, everybody who is who doesn't have warm weather gear, I need to make a con save for it being cold. I don't need to. <laughs> All right. uh, neither does... But uh, I'm going to go get water. We can, after you guys make that save, we can go on break for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Con save. Plus four. Con save. Con save. 18. That must be your court. Ah, 18. I'm fine. Mm. Why is it con save? Warm, if yeah. you have warm weather gear, you're fine. I don't have warm weather gear. Cold weather gear, because it's oh, cold. cold weather gear. Yeah, because the nights are already cold, and you guys are in a place where it's very. It, there's a lot of moisture in the air, so it's colder. Ah. Yep. Or if you don't have cold weather okay. gear, which I don't have, really. So, you are you are saying you were saying yeah. to uh. Well, it's... So, crazy event to happen, huh? 
I, I did not know they made turtles that large. <laughs> Me neither, but I guess anything's possible in this world, especially with elementals. I do not have a lot of study of them, nor do I really know much about them. I wish I knew more. Uh, I, I imagine we'll, we're gonna we're gonna start learning more, especially around Gorthesh. <laughs> you also taught a lot about sphinxes. Yeah. I did a lot of research. I've also met one before. That is impre that is impressive. I haven't known anyone who met a Sphinx, but I do know about them. You made one mistake. Hmm? Challenges make them stronger, but that is not how they gain strength. Or grow. They, they use this. They use the challenges as a way of gaining strength. But only when, only once within their lair. Mm. Mm. Are we just kind of curious if it's the same one? But I don't know. <sighs> huh. Well, uh, 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 I guess we'll have to find out later. Maybe, maybe after the library. <laughs> huh. Sphinxes are repositories for information. Mm. If you are worthy for the information. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Mm. Yes. Um, mm. You... Why do you want to find them? Uh, the Sphinx? Yes. Oh, I'm... I guess it's more of a curiosity, after spending all that time researching. And plus, I, I kinda wanna see if it's the same one I met before. It's good to check in on... I guess, people you let out. Or help. Mm. But yeah. <sighs> this is nice. <laughs> Talking? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. I missed it. Hmm. Well, around us, you could be doing a lot more. <laughs> Don't be afraid to talk. It's also nice to be talked to. <laughs> yeah, that is. <sighs> Only insight. Insight, you say? Plus ten. I, I go. Actually, no. You no. I can just say it because you have passive insight. All right. You Sick. could. You can tell that there was more to that. What she said there than just. It's nice being talked. It feels like there's something. There's another kind of like meaning to that. It almost seems as if like. Sad, or it felt inferior, like she felt lesser than. 
Everything okay? Yes. Hmm. She's lying. You, you know you don't have to lie to me. Wait, what's your passive insight? 20. The 20? Because even if I give you disadvantage because robots... <sighs> what's her stuff again? I don't think high enough for it to matter. I don't think high enough. <laughs> this thing was made to kill, not to... Um, yeah, no, no, she has a five. She has a five. <laughs> <laughs> and efficiency, yeah. It doesn't matter. You know you don't have to lie to me. I'm glad I am out of that hellhole. Yeah. <sighs> I... Hmm. She doesn't say anything else. Uh, Alice Lons. Okay. Alice? I'm mm. glad you're here. It'll be nice getting to know you more. She lowers her head. Thank okay. you, Simone. No problem. We'll go and place a hand on her head. I must be getting to sleep, or else I'll be really feeling it in the morning. That is wise. This one will get up. You have a good night. I... <laughs> you say that? Good night. Mm. Then she just walks, hugs to the center of camp, not sleeping. She's like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Right, I don't sleep. <laughs> yeah, he's like, have a good night. And it's like, right, I don't. Hmm. Hey, well, I'm just sit there. Hmm. Ah, right. Oh, <laughs> let me just make sure I have the right day. Oh, right, uh, the egg. <laughs> I do. You mean all right, the egg? Okay. Uh, an hour before, uh, before everybody, you know, it was really ready to wake up. Actually, no. What am I saying? No. Just realized we're in Time summer. Excuse me. We're in summer. Yeah. Who has the egg? I have the egg. Be kind to me, God. Please. <laughs> Where is the egg? Uh, it's on my person. Uh, Wait, it, how, it, it's a big egg. How's it on your person? It's a, like, it takes up a spot like in my backpack. <laughs> Okay, so it's so it's in your backpack, not on your person. I, 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 I. <laughs> well, I need to know these things, you know. 
Right. Are you sleeping with the Eggers in your backpack? I'll, 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 I'll say I'll be sleeping with the egg, since it is a big egg. Okay. <laughs> I see. <laughs> An explosion, Simone dies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then, I, and then I die. <laughs> um, so, uh, a few hours before uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, four hours, four hours before everybody was going to wake up. Four out there. <laughs> Four hours before everybody was set to wake up. Simone, there's a shaking and a rocking. Uh. It's me. Oh, what's, what's going on? As you see a crack appear on the egg. Already at that time. <sighs> and then another crack appear at the bottom of the egg. And in your mind, you you get a feeling of of like aww. Uh -huh. And then in your mind, uh, a moment later, uh, wait, like a worry, like uh, wait a second. I should get up. <laughs> just goes to get up, just like, eh, eh. Um, as there is a, a brilliant flash of light and a dull explosion noise that wakes oh. pretty much everybody up out of their sleep. Why? <laughs> As like you hear pat, before before then, Cortez pats himself to make sure it's not lightning. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I know what happened uh, again. I, I it's too much fuck. Fuck. <laughs> As. As. There's this flash of light, so as everybody hears the sound, they wake up. You just hear it, just like, ow! <laughs> Oh. Oh, not me! Uh, it's a <laughs> As, uh, I need everybody who... <laughs> who thinks they would have seen the brilliant flash of light to roll me, uh, constitution save against being blinded. Do I have to uh, make it with disadvantage? Not one. Not one? No, no disadvantage, but you do have to make it. Uh, uh, what's it called? Hey, uh, point. <laughs> Kate succeeds. Oh, Kate four guys. Kate's just, <laughs> Kate's just right, watching this happen. Your boy. <gasps> ah! That might be enough. Might be enough. Thirteen. Oh no. All right. Um, tell me. I just need to know. Uh, can we? Can we hear? Can I hear the numbers as I am getting the image? <laughs> hear the saves. Can I hear the saves, people? Oh, 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 uh, which whichever oh. order? Four. Four. Eight. Four. That's blind. Blind. <laughs> Thirteen. Not blind. Woohoo! Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I need oh, somebody yeah. to make for Alice. <laughs> uh, I'll do it. Okay. I'll do it. Oh, what's her modifier? Again? Uh, it should be pinned in War Room. They have the plus eight. Oh shit! What's eight? Damn. Yeah, the man. They're a robot. Or the meets the eye. Fourteen. Mm-hmm. Uh 
Yeah, and Kate just passively succeeds. Uh, somebody want to get Lucina? <laughs> just. Oh, honey, got it. I'm just imagining hey. Kate not blinking, light just shining in their eyes. No, like, you think? Here's the thing. It's a DC 11, so she could legitimately just not one uh, and still pass plus, that. Plus five. Oh. Plus five. Yeah. Roll it. I'm, I'm currently getting an image. Oh, Lucina's blind. <laughs> mm, Lucina's blind. Okay. In fact, somebody roll. Uh, somebody roll with a. With a. She has a plus ten, and then because of her new armor, she it gives her a plus two. So somebody roll for for Kate. I just want to see how if she actually what? just stares down the light, like, ooh, pretty. So plus ten, plus two, so that's twelve. Twelve. Yeah, I don't think she. Not twenty. Twenty-seven. We got. <laughs> My retina is. Were you guys freaking out about it? Just seems like a really bright sunrise. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, gloriously. Damn it! It's not. Not, not over here. Wait, is it? Is it in? Did I already put it in my character? In the? Uh, did I already count it as a character before it showed up? Damn it, me. This is what the. Pl this is what this side area is specifically for. <laughs> it's specifically for shit like this. Ba -ba -ba -da. This is what I'm looking for. Wait, no, this is not what I'm looking for. Where's just the Castlevania album? Why the fuck is everything organized yet so hard to find? Because oh, I didn't alphabetize. I didn't alphabetize it. There it is. As all of you who can see. All oh, right. Hey, um, I need to know if Klutz sees this. So if everybody who's blind hears Klutz saying shit. All right. Let me. Yeah, Klutz is concept. Con save. Okay. Eleven. They just succeed. All right, perfect. Okay. So who is not blind? I think is the easier way to go on this. Fortesh. Fortesh, Kate, uh, Alice. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Cortash, Kate, Alice. So. And yeah, that's but. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> it, it, it keeps on going. It keeps on rolling. <laughs> right. On where? Where are you? Man, I'm, g I'm glad I can finally taste light, you know? Mmm, <laughs> mmm, that tastes like pain. Hey man, I taste the rainbow! Ah, oh, man. I love how the two that gave their energy for this are those two who are blinded. Next. Yeah, yeah, it's funny, yeah. As uh, you all, as uh, all of you who can see, See this thing. Oh, it's as, cute. As the the what joke, the I can joke. <laughs> as uh, it is a this as as it explodes from the light, you see like the light coalesces and pieces of this reddish energy cling to them, as they are are fully formed like this, and are like they seem to be around like three and a half four feet tall what in the as fuck? They, they're just standing there and they lift their head and look they open their eyes and Hello? see you Kortash. Oh. Is, what is that a demon well, it looks like a demon. That what? Uh, 
<laughs> Simone, Simone just calls out, Don't attack! <laughs> the fuck is going Why on? I showed up in a ball of light. Julian, the egg hatched. Ow! Yes! <laughs> okay. Where, where are they? I can't see. <laughs> As now the blindness wears off. Ugh. Okay. Oh man, I see. But uh, someone will look towards them. Hi there. Oh wait, you might not understand that language. Uh, actually, you were just born. You might not understand. That language. Oh. Um. Try. I'll speak. Uh, Oh, yeah, I was about to say. I, I was gonna say like, yeah, I'm gonna try celestial. Okay, what do you say? Hi there. Their head snaps to you. Oh Jesus! <laughs> it's good mm. to see you. Um. Uh, hmm. Can you understand me in this language? It slowly nods its head. Uh, the, clo uh, the cloak, uh, well, the shroud gives you a um, cautious feeling. You don't need to wor uh, worry. We're all friends here. Looks around. Thumbs up. I don't know what someone's saying, but I'm just gonna thumbs up. It's like it gives a glance around to to all of the group. Before it it tries to stand and does so shakily before falling down. Oh, e easy. Uh, I'll try to help them up. <laughs> Their tail will whip out and like point at you. Oh, okay. Uh, too soon then. Do you need help walking? Um, uh, they open their mouth and you see like a row of sharp teeth. Um, uh, they nod their head. Oh. They all hold and they hold out a clawed hand to you. Yeah, so we'll try to be careful and pick them up. They are able to get to standing. You notice that they are naked, but except for the cloak that makes up, that is attached to their body. But they are genderless, it seems. At least they seem to be genderless in like as they are. Like, they don't present any... Sp they, they very much look feminine, and they do have feminine features, yet these features, you know, like, basically, like, breasts that are... that are, there's no nipple at all. Got it, and got it. No genitalia yeah, at all. No genitalia of any kind. A Barbie doll, you could say. Or a Ken doll. Yeah, basically. Uh... As Simone will uh, try to exp uh, try to like you know help them like properly oh, walk. You touch them. I want you to make me a charisma saving throw. Oh yay! Love <clears throat> that. R D twenty plus three. Sixteen. All right. Sixteen. You succeed. Hmm. Easy, okay. 
in Celestial. Walking takes a bit to learn, but mm. you just have to go slow. Mm. Mm. They're going, uh, Kate is going to walk over. Hi there. Here. How you doing? E easy, Kate. Uh, they're not used to people. <laughs> the angel doesn't like them. Mm -hmm. Baby steps as first foot. They, they, you see them like just push off of you and throw themselves up as they open up their cloak and they begin flying. Well, I, and they I, seem to be able to maintain their flight. I, I guess this is flying before you run. I, I'm not curious. Fly in Celestial. Ah! Your first words! Uh, hi! I... My name's Simone. Uh, let's point over... That's Julian. Hmm. Hi. Julian. Oh, respondent Celestial. Hi there. In your head, Julian, you hear Klutz say? Is it weird that I'm getting a strange maternal instinct right now? I don't like it. <laughs> no, no, I don't think it's that strange. Looks over to, looks down to Kate. And says hi in celestial, but it's like I don't know what you said. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kate, As, I'll say that. <laughs> uh, uh, this thing is then going to look down at Kate, and its eyes are going to flash red, and yeah. As you see it and Kate just look at each other for a moment. They can they can do the thing, Koratash, just like us. Oh. They can read minds? As they it looks over to Koratash and says hi to Koratash and Celestial. Wait, it's so it's... No, it doesn't no, uh, it doesn't it, it, it no, it didn't say it in his head. It just said uh it just uh, said uh hi, uh, celestial. Uh Hey. Try linking with it. Oh, you want me to want me to put my brain in that thing? Alright. I want it. Alright, my link my link with the Strain to raise child. The weird jellyfish man to raise child. Uh, since they don't know how to properly establish a link, and you're more experienced at this, I'm gonna mm. give you advantage on this, but please make a charisma save. They don't know how to properly... Actually, no, not charisma, uh, intelligence. <laughs> I like the kind they... of <laughs> You're trying to talk to someone using Skype for the first time. You're using Discord, they're using Skype, and somehow it's working. Oh, I'm using God. TeamSpeak. TeamSpeak. <laughs> You're more than fine. As you feel like they're inexperienced with this, and you smooth it out, giving a, a, a clean connection. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm alive. That's a sentence. <laughs> uh, I, I uh, go to Simone and like, yeah, they say they're alive. Oh, 
that's a sentence. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. Uh, yeah, the, that must be because of the energy we mean to right. give me. Your mind link doesn't stop unless you break the mind link in your head. Yeah. Am I alive? Well, that's that's depressing. Yeah. I say that loud. <laughs> oh, what's <laughs> they're questioning if they're alive or not? Uh, well, they should be. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I say back. Yeah, you're alive. Why wouldn't you be you're talking? You're floating. Oh, they look down. And they just, they stop flying and touch the ground. Okay. I'm al- And in your head, I'm alive. And they smile a big toothy grin. Alright, they're no longer depressed. Okay, that's good. Ah, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. And Celestial. Hi, Simone. In Celestial. Hmm. Do you have a name? Or... I... Uh, I... Hi. And... In... Koratash, you're still linked with them, and you hear... How you hear how difficult how difficult speaking in Celestial is for them, but in your head they're speaking fine. Okay. And so with your passive insight and your intelligence, I would say that you're able to pick up, similar to the flying and the walking situation, certain things come more naturally than others. Hmm. Hmm. So in your so in your head as you hear them, I, oh I actually know. They're gonna try to link with Simone. Simone, I need you to make a intelligence save. Why do we have so many brain talkers in this goddamn party? They're taking my uh, one thing. <laughs> my one, one of them thing. learned. One of them learned it from you. I learned it from watching and, you. <laughs> and they can't do it as well as you. And the other one, well, the other one is because it's, it's a it's a thing that they, you know. I got a twelve. Uh, twelve. That um, that just fails, my friend. Oh, sick! Nice. Uh, you get a small, get a small headache. It gives you disadvantage on mental checks. And uh, saves for the next minute. There's this like a sharp pain in your head as they force their way into your mind rather than, you know, just linking with you. Okay. Hey, hello. I know what I am, but I don't know. Uh, to say it. Uh, I, a divine beast. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, so they are going to, and uh, <laughs> heads up, folks. I ain't pronouncing this shit. <laughs> oh fuck this. <laughs> uh. Damn it. Because my bar is currently screwy. I don't know why I can't I love actually the image. I can't actually screenshot right now. I love the image of Lucina just seeing all this and just like shakes her head and then still backs to sleep. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is frustrating. So remember that problem that I was gonna wait until after session to fix? Mm -hmm. I'm using a problem now because now I can't, uh, I can't give the screenshot. <sighs> All right, so I'm just gonna put its name, what it says in chat, what it says its name is in chat. 
Uh, well, not what its name is, what it is. As it was just born, it does not have a name. What? Noi to, to lover? No, Noi to lover? No, it you lover. <laughs> no, it you lover. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Noi to lover. Noi to lover. I must say that. What the fuck? What the fuck shit you tell him to say, Seven? What does it say? How do you say it? I don't know how to say it. Uh, say it! Ah. <laughs> uh, fucking. Say the word. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Well, you're gonna say. Uh, so, uh, it's like, Noi to lover? Oh. What I am. She, uh, she points to herself, or it, it points to itself. What I uh, and like, in your head, what I am. Hmm. Okay. Wait. It's, that's what you are, but you'll need a name. In my head. Mm. Name. They nod their head. They seem to understand the concept. Mm. How about this Han? He's gonna think of a name on the spot. <gasps> Help him, please. He doesn't know what he's doing. <gasps> well, you do that. I will. <laughs> I will refresh my computer. You do that. And so... I'm just gonna look for uh, They will then look over to Julian. Hi, Julian. It is a wave. Hi. In your head, Julian. Plus, is just like, yeah, no, this is definitely awakening some like deep internal instincts that I'm sure I killed a long time ago. I'm not liking this. Well, I'll tell you, you didn't if you're feeling them. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Well, don't just don't just say hi. Go and talk to them or some shit. All right. I don't want to be the weird one. And look weak in front of the rest of them. How? Uh, all right. I think I got something. It's a baby. What the fuck do you say to a baby? I don't know. Say shit. No, actually, no, actually, say shit. That'd be funny. Teach him, teach him the word shit. <laughs> actually, no. Don't do that. Don't. Damn it. Fucking. Oh my god, why am I a good and bad in- Oh, I fucking hate this. Oh, I hate this. Um... How does Yopi sound? Yopi... Put that in chat for the class, please. They shake their head no. No? Okay. Hmm. And Yeah, they're going to uh yeah, no, they're going to uh uh, look over to... They're going to just sit in the center of camp. Alice is just going to say, Does anybody know what they are? And... Uh, that's... Okay. Hi. <laughs> As they're going to respond, 
have, you know, showing that you guys now know they do understand uh, common. Huh? Well, that's a change. They say hi in Celestial. Oh, okay. <laughs> but they say hi in Celestial, but you know that they understand common. Yeah, they, they now understand common. Hmm. Uh, hmm. <laughs> okay, Cortez is gonna see this. Cortez is gonna go back to bed. <laughs> That's fair. Gonna... That's fair. You guys, you guys got this. You you break the mind link. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Are you seeing you go to bed? Huh? Well, look around. Do you have a name you want to be called? Say that was the they thing. shake their head no. Do you have a preference on the name? They... They open their mouth and, like, have uh, 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 they can, um, they will, I need you to make an intelligence save as they're going to try and force their way into your head. Cool. Dope. Great. Two. I love that. Three. That's a three, motherfucker. Why are you getting upset at me? What I'm I getting do? upset at myself. Okay. Let's say I, I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's a three. <laughs> three. Um, yeah, same thing with Simone. Like, for the, like, you get, like, this headache as you feel the, something basically force its way into your head. It's kind of like, you know, you've had some, no, you've had, not Simone, you've had Kortash do this to you. You've had Kate do this to you. Oh, Kate weird. is... Kate is, like, not as good as Kortash with it. Like, Kate just, she kind of glides in, but it's more of like a, a like a firm handshake with Kate. With Kortash, his is smooth. It just goes in, no discomfort, perfectly fine. <laughs> it's like Chris internet connection, you know? Oh, this is the best wording ever. Oh my goodness. Shut up! <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> but no, but no, finish what you were saying, sorry. Yes, um, this feels as if, like, it's as if you're, like, moving a couch or something into a room, and there's, Pivot. like, stuff in front, Pivot. and so it's just pushing everything fucking out of the way, and it all just falls over. It's uh, just... Oh, that's... Okay. It just... So it's very much like a... Ow. And so, like, for the next minute, you have this advantage on strengths, uh, not strength, on, int um, like, mental checks and saves. Understood. Okay. Sorry, I assume they're in? Yeah, they're in. Alright. I'll say mentate <laughs> to them, then. You really gotta work on your entrance. Okay. That's pretty. So... I'm sorry. Beautiful, beautiful name. Hmm. Preference. Okay. Simone. Short. Eh? You want something short but beautiful. Um. Hmm. Ava? Mm -mm. No. Yep. is looking at this. Lucina's looking at this. Are you guys exclusively talking in, in Celestia? When I'm talking to Simone, it's common. Yeah. Okay. You said uh... Nia? I said Mia. Oh, Mia? 
Amelia? Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, in your head, Julian. Letter not used often. Letter not used often. Okay. Letter has done. Uh, he actually gets a small. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Okay. Let him see. Not you see, Clutch just go. Oh my goodness! I hate this. Ah. Lucy. It's like with me and <laughs> Lucy. You say Lucy. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, how about um, to Zeon? Hmm. If you're from Klutz? Oh, come on. You can't just give them, like, say. Mm hmm. Sion. Sion. I, you know, fucking hell. Okay, you know, y y I guess you got it. Flex is, is just there. I'm not going back to sleep, am I? No, I, I can't. I have to stay up and watch this damn thing. Sadly, I don't think you are. Uh, Kate. Hmm? Uh, do you think you can help us out here? Uh, how? Uh, try it. Uh, try to explain to Xeon. Uh, that, that we were sleeping, uh, for a bit. Uh. In, in our head. He just looks at, uh, looks at Zion. And... Hmm. And keep her company, yeah. Huh. Oh. Sion just looks at you and holds a finger to her lip. Okay. <sighs> Let's all try to get some rest again. This looks okay. You. Uh, you'll keep them company until it's morning, okay? It's fine, it is morning. Uh, later morning. <laughs> just, just for a couple hours. A couple hours so we can rest. Okay. Thank you, Kate. I just say that say the thoughts. Okay, I have to go. Yeah, yeah, you know, and I'm well, like, I you have any choice now? It's fucking hell. Such a good mom. Eat a dick. Didn't say Liam lost never said I was the wrong, mom route. As he just flies back down. As, uh, this is, uh, I'm going to update their sheet with the name. Jesus and, Christ! Uh, <laughs> this is their sheet. Once again, we have something that has more than all of us. <laughs> I there small celestial divine niece chaotic neutral. Okay, sixteen AC, fifty-eight hit points. As uh, per usual, we are the inferior people in this group. Yep. Uh, Fourteen. <laughs> the strength, heroes are lesser <laughs> than their companions. 16 points. I wouldn't say that. 
15 uh, wisdom and 16 charisma. They uh, they have wisdom and, uh, and charisma, uh, saving throws, proficiency, religion, and survival. Vulnerable to necrotic and bludgeoning, piercing, flashing from attacks that are silver silvered. Uh, resistance to uh, psychic uh, rating and flooding appearances and slashing from non-magical attacks. Immune to force and lightning. What the shit? Uh, uh, condition immunities, charm, exhaustion, frighten, uh, senses, dark vision, 90 feet, true sight, 30 feet, passive uh, perception, 16, language, uh, celestial, understands all, T telepathy, 120 feet. Oh, wait, I actually have something wrong. This is the old one. Uh, they should not have expertise in perception. Uh, Only proficiency. So that would be 13. You see, I, you see, I just really can't wait more reading this. Like, oh, hey, that's Julian's ability. Oh, hey, that's Simone's win. Uh, uh, dive. If, uh, they fly 30 feet straight towards the target, and uh, that hits with the melee attack. The attack deals 2d6 uh, damage to the target. They have magic resistance. Uh, flippant retreat. Uh, if the attacks with its stinger, it, ta uh, it can take the disengage as bonus action. Heart sight. Touches a creature that magically knows it can be just emotional state. Its target fails a uh, DC 13 uh, charisma save. It also knows uh, the creature's alignment. Celestial fiends and undead are actually fail to save. Summon divine beast. What the shit? <laughs> the divine beast chooses what to summon to him, uh, and attempts a magical summoning. Has a, a has a thirty chance of summoning one. A summoned divine beast appears in unoccupied space of sixty feet of the summer and acts as an ally to summer. It, it can't summon another divine beast. Remains one minute until the, until the summer dies until it dismisses as an action. Healing touch. Uh, it touches another creature, it magically heals uh, 4d4 oh. plus 13. That shouldn't be another creature, that should be touch a creature! Touch, uh, See. touch a creature. But four, and he heals 4d4 plus 3. Multi-attack, as you can make two melee attacks or three uh, dreadful electro ball. What the shit? <laughs> it knows electro ball! <laughs> uh, claw, plus one to hit. Target deals a D4 and, uh, force and a D4 of radiant damage. Um, the noise target can make uh, two additional claw attacks as bonus action if it makes two claw attacks. Stinger. Uh, uh, one target does D6 plus 3 uh, and a D4 of force and D4 uh, radiant. Dreadful Electric Ball. Uh, range spell attack plus five to hit range at 80 to 320 feet 1d8 plus three of force damage Plus a d4 lining plus a d4 of rate. This thing is fucking buff <laughs> uh, Divine divine blast once per day you can excel a divine blast in the 30 foot corner is five feet wide each region that that line must pick a DC 13 same though Taking a uh, 3d6 force and 3d6 lightning and 3d6 radiant on a fail save or have a Christ! <laughs> it's 96! Mm hmm. Consume life. As a bonus action, uh, can target a creature you can see with 5 feet that has 0 points and is still alive. The target must make a DC 13 con save uh, against magic or, fa or failed. Uh, or fairly death save target dies and recover against uh, 3d10 hit points the cut if the node is within range and it has used ability on a target when it fails its last death saves they reap the benefits they can force the creature to make uh the save once per turn you know they they uh yeah you know, if uh, if a creature dies near them they can essentially eat some of the creature eat some of the, some of the creature's life force before they die this thing is a baby. <laughs> uh, yes and no. It doesn't get much stronger than this. This is, uh, they when it's born, it's born essentially 
wobbly, but other, for all intents and purposes, it's born fully formed. Okay, okay. So this ready is ready to the... hunt, ready to hunt and kill. Mm -hmm. And this thing is the equivalent of a demon, you know. But for a but for but for celestials, yeah. Mm. And it... So, yeah, this right here is, uh, this is it. Mind you, it is chaotic neutral. It... <laughs> yeah, but we need to work on that. Um... We go to sleep. Yep. Okay, it's um, I, I believe in them. <laughs> four hours later. Technically, wake up in two. Technically, yeah. For most of you, you could wake up in two. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, it's the, yeah, for the guys who wake up, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is everything alive is, still? <laughs> it's nowhere to be found. Oh. What? You just you just see Alice looking up at the at the the top of the canyon, and you see Klutz is also nowhere to be found, sitting next to it. Wait, so are they up at the top of the canyon? They're up at the top of the canyon, like up the, like above. Where's Kate? Like it, <laughs> it's uh Kate is down here with um actually no, no Kate would ask Klutz yeah. Uh, Kate will go with them. So oh. Kate and Klutz and the baby are nowhere to be found. They uh, are, Alice is yeah, no. Alice up at the top of the canyon. Alice is just looking up at the top. So yeah, when you guys wake up, it's just like, there's the distinct things missing. <laughs> and Alice, like, oh, where are they? <laughs> up there. I'm actually uh, trying to connect to Klutz. Yeah, what's, no, what, yeah. What's going on? The thing wanted to fly. It got bored five minutes after everybody went to sleep and wanted to hunt. I convinced it not to hunt, and Kate and I talked with it. Hmm. Apparently, apparently, we are getting it to talk a bit more, so it's used to talking, and I can speak Celestia because of you. So, it's learning a little bit more about how to speak. Um, yeah, no, it's weird. Uh, fucking thing is wacky. Uh, it also is a real killer. Like, it, like, three times talked about wanting to go and hunt. I think... It might need to hunt since it's so young. It needs to like eat. You know, that's a great question. Uh, it doesn't care. It just needs to hunt life. That's fucking metal. Yeah. There's, an, there's another pause. Apparently, it just it just needs to kill something, you know. Okay. All right. I'll say this to whoever's still on the ground. So it needs to kill. Oh. Anything, just something living. It needs to kill something. I guess it really likes hunting, then. Well, it's the only really likes hunting. Uh... <laughs> Fucking god, I just want to read this in general. I feed off of death! Jesus Christ. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, yeah. The Digimon thing. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, no, no, no. I, I got the clip. I got the clip. Just give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. But yes, uh, important, serious times. So it's best we take care of that before heading to the 
oasis is just going to be gathering of elementals there. Yeah. We can go a bit. We can try to do a bit of one thing. Also, here's a different. <laughs> or we can split up. I, I can take the right there and a couple off. Try and hunt something. Meanwhile, you guys take care of the situation with the elementals at the shrine. A part of me kind of feels responsible as well, but I, I, I don't. Yeah, but like, no offense, Simone, but you're not a hunter. Okay, that, that's good sense. <laughs> but, all right, yeah, no, I'll I'll go with Koratash to see uh, what's going on with the uh, with the elementals. You go with them and I guess teach them how to hunt and try not to hunt something too big. I think he might know well enough. Just he needs to get a kill. Whenever that happens, we'll catch up with you. Alright. Hey, good bonding experience with Kate as well. Yeah. Alright. I'm mentally, uh, ping thoughts. Alright, uh, can you get them to come down? We're going for a hunt. Oh yeah, by the way, hey, uh, actually, no, I think I'll leave it as a surprise. Goody. There's just, there's just a pause. And you see, like, their shadows up on the top, uh, like, move. You see mm -hmm. Kate, uh, get on to, uh, Klutz. And you see this thing go. As it dive bombs down. <laughs> and it's fast. <laughs> like, real fast. Like, it's, it's fast. Like, Kortash fast. Oh my god, it's just as fast as Korata. <laughs> as it boom as it booms down using like using like the uh like the fact that it's going at down like a dive bomb to pick up even more speed before swooping up and creating this like dust of this like dust cloud before flapping and landing. It's uh Way, way, way slower. Um, uh, Klutz uh, flies down. Um, just like more gliding down. Because they're bigger. <laughs> just like, uh, yeah, they're fast. Yeah, clearly. Alright. And I'll say this in uh, Celestial to. Zaya. Also, please I put the name in chat. Con. Yeah, please put that in chat. Uh, oh, Z uh, Zaya. I, I, I thought it's Zion. Zion. Zina? Oh, yeah. uh, Zina. Zion. That one. Yeah, Zion. Yeah, yeah that one. Yeah, Zion. <laughs> now I kind of want to pick it Zaya, like, Zaya and twice. <laughs> oh my god, no. Shut up. Alright, fine. Mur Zion. Yeah. I just have to suck to Xeon. Alright. I will be taking you on a hunt. Since. Well. Hunt? Yes. I wish I get to kill. Yay. Good. I get to eat. We'll probably find something, yes. I can't wait to kill. Okay. This isn't Celestial, so anybody who understands Celestial hears that. Uh, just looks to Julian to say, "Goody, don't worry. How we may we may take a bit catching up. That's all I'll say." Yeah. All right. And I'll say in common. Alright, cuts and um, we're no. heading out for Xeon. Yeah, no, Xeon is just there. No, uh Klutz is just there. No, I'm coming I'm coming with that thing. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. You mean that. 
Oh, I can't come. Look, well, kick him, you know? This might be a good experience between you two. Sure, guys. You can hop on. Sick. As you are hearing Kate learn new, has, has picked up new lingo after going out on the town for three days. Yeah, we'll try, we'll try and uh, track something down. Okay, how big are you looking for? Well, there's a couple of us. So... I'll be right back. <sighs> okay. How big? How big? Something that... At least their size are bigger. They're okay. what? There's... Let's try a. Okay. Let's let's try for medium, if we can. Okay. The wolf is jealous and is making it known it wants to hunt with them. But who do who do you think I'm relying on for this? And okay. And, uh, uh, yeah. I, I were, and because I'm in normal clothes, I can actually do this. I'm gonna hop into my uh, wolf form, not the hybrid. All right, all of your like, well, in your hi that means all of your clothes will you'll either tear them or you'll have to take them off before you transform. Yeah, I'll, I'll take I'll take them off behind somewhere. Just okay. Put the put them in my pack. All right, yeah, you put them in your pack. You got a little saddle thing that you can put them in with mm -hmm. butts. And, uh, yeah. And, yeah, I'll shift and we go for a hunt. All right. We'll get back to you, too. Well, actually, and, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, we will get back to you, too. Um, Kortash. Oi oi, Kortash. He may have stepped away. Okay, he might have stepped away. Alright, in that case, with him gone and Simone gone, we'll just go to you two in your hunt then. Alright. Alright. Who is leading the hunt? This, this thing wants to... It wants to kill, right? Wants to kill. I'll... I'll trap the first one. Or at, at least to where I can get a good scent of it. Alright. Uh... Roll me... Uh... Let me a survival check to oh, try and pick out a... No problem. Han was also... Han also had to step away. Um... I'm back. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, you can go those oh, ways. I'll oh, wait. I'll go... I'll... You know what? Yeah. No. We'll, we'll go with... Just, no. We'll go with... Yeah? No, I, I can't do anything right now. I'm not in the mental to do that right now. Okay. Well, we'll go with the hunt, and depending on how, uh, depending on what you guys do, we'll do that, take another break, and then come back. All right. So I need a survival check from you to see how, to see, like, uh, what's, to make sure you're going after the, th you know, the size of creature or, like, the strength of creature you want. Have How accurately? Uh, you're not yet tracking. You're not tracking a singular thing yet. You're more trying to look for a target right okay. now. 
All right, you can pretty much pick the size and approximate challenge rating of what you're looking for. So anywhere from tiny to, you know, huge passes through here and you can pick the, you know, general challenge rating. There might be some wiggle in it. So like general danger level. Thing is. I don't have a good sense when it comes to challenge ratings, so let's just go with something. Then tell me, then tell me, rather than challenge rating, just tell me the general danger level. You know, okay. how strong, how big, how what, what do you, what's the around the area you're looking for? Something that'll get that'll uh, give it a good fight. But not so much that it's immediate detrimental. Like even okay. with, and that includes um, help from the other three. Ah, in that case, okay. And you're tra you don't yet know exactly what this thing can do. So give me like, give me like a investigation. Sure, investigation on this. Eight. Eight. All right. So from its size and stature, could probably take on small game. Maybe a maybe like a deer or like you know, may, maybe a dire wolf. You know, it's fast. So you know. let's let's aim for something akin to a dire wolf then. Okay. So two of you. So, the two of you go rushing off. Well, actually, the four of you. <laughs> As Klutz and Kate. Go rushing off. Uh, you are leading the pack. Uh, this thing is flying, is flying like low. It seems to have very good flight control and is flying low. But then sometimes like having fun and it starts flying higher. You can already tell it's it still has a bit of that demeanor of a child. Like it's definitely it's having fun rather than being serious on a hunt. Hmm. It reminds you of what you've seen when you saw, you know, kids on the hunt. They're more playing than actually hunting right now. There's, and uh, yeah, uh, Klutz, Klutz is, is keeping up, is basically keeping up with you, but staying behind, letting you, you know, understanding that you're taking point on this. Um, as you move through, you, yeah, you pick up the trail of, yeah. That seems like a seems like a the scent of a lacrota. Old. It's the scent is is the trail is old. But it's not not exactly you know uh, not exactly uh, what you're you know since you guys have to hunt those it's not exactly what you're going for but there is something else that pick up there seems to be some kind of um reptilian creature that one seems a bit fresher but seems like it might be a little bit bigger Bigger than Lacrota? Uh, well, Le Le Lacrota are. Mm, you're right. They. It's less that it's bigger. More that it just seems like from the claw marks that you see left on the stone. It seems like it is. Like. Wider. It's thicker. 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 Is a good word. Okay. 
We'll try and follow the the reptile tracks. Okay. See what it leads us to. All right. Roll me a survival check. As you're doing this, you see the little one, uh, Zeon, is not paying attention to, you know, when you, like, why you stopped or what you're doing. He's just after the kill. He doesn't care how he gets there. They are, the old, they the are young. Man, they... The old man and Julian is showing. <laughs> <laughs> Would this be advantage or so straight? This would be advantage. Okay. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah. No, you can definitely uh, sense. Uh, you can definitely give a sniff. It's actually hard to pinpoint its tracks because it seems to use the water. But what makes it a bit easier is that it seems like. This creature um, went out a couple hours earlier into the sun, and you can see it going back through the river. So it gives you some idea that this this creature is uh, needs the water, but also needs, you know, it's still a reptile. And you're able to kind of track it, not just by it, but it seems like there's more than one. But not all of them are as big. You're seeing smaller claw marks. Hmm. It's not alone. How many from the tracks? Hmm, from the tracks? Uh, it's hard to say. Could be anywhere from four smaller ones to like eight smaller ones it, it's it's hard to really give a, an exact number hmm. no, we don't have the numbers for that the, the smaller ones though seem significantly smaller like we're not talking medium size we're talking hmm. small creatures but still Can I roll and um, um, check it one more roll is with Julian's prior knowledge in terms of a hunt, would the mm -hmm. better option be to pursue this fresh tracks but more numbers or to abandon it and try and pick up uh, something else? Um. Like, based on not his current uh, hunting party. Based on your current hunting party, you have aerial superiority, so as long as you don't get lured into a cave, you should at least have something there in Klutz, okay. because Klutz can essentially lift Kate out of there. Um, Kate mm. has range, and... You and this smaller thing and uh Zion. Zion? Zion. Zion. Uh Zion they're fast, so as long as they're able to, you know, use hit and run tactics and stay above them. Yeah. But the moment that their flight gets hindered, that's when you'd probably want to turn away. Okay. You you'd be fine, as long as you have Klutz backing you up. Because Klutz is hefty enough that they can we'll body to, block. We'll continue to pursue the tracks then. Okay. Real quick, because this is, this, this is going to bother me. Um, mm -hmm. The way Han spelled it, it is Zion. That's how you pronounce Zion? it. Zion would be an, instead of an I. Ah. Okay. I know that. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll put in the E. This, All right. And...
Yeah. Uh, continuing to uh, continue to follow the tracks, you do come across uh, some of the smaller ones. It's about it would be about an hour in that you would uh, come across these. And you come across around three of them. Okay. Not the full amount that you saw before. Yeah. But you see a small hunting party here of three of them. Okay, I want... Could, are there any other tracks or indications in the area that may lead me to presume that they have others waiting lying in ambush? No, they, the, these small ones seem to be a small hunting party of, like, not quite adults, but like, uh, like, essentially they're not pups, but they're, adolescent. they're adolescent. They're, yeah, they're, they're learning to hunt themselves. Yeah. And yeah, they're going after small bugs. Stuff like that. Looking for their, you know, for a big score. Okay. I'm gonna look back to... Actually, I can mentally talk to Klutz. Mm hmm I'll just let Klutz know that this will be your target for now. All right. Um, as I imagine you you give like a chuff or something to get the attention yeah. of uh, I it you know looks down at it like uh, flies over and then well, actually looks like like skids and stops you see one of them lift its head up to look doesn't see shit. Because <laughs> you guys are far enough away that it's fine. It shows a bit of these things in experience. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Once um, Zion gets to us, I'll motion the head over towards them. It... Hint nods. And you see it like, like, kind of getting in like an almost like an all four position, kind of like grabs the ground with the like with their arms and claw and like their clawed hand and their back claws kind of scrape a little as they extend their wings. Oh, motion. For... Flush just takes. Yeah. Oh, step to the right. <laughs> nope. Just step away from that. Okay. And they're kind of just waiting for your okay to go. I get it. And they begin running before getting into a into a low a low like flight before they just swing in um oh, gosh. how strong are these things oh dear i'll also be running in with them all right i'd like you to make uh, i'd like you to make an, uh, an attack they're they're gonna make an attack um Against one of them, they have a surprise, so, you know, they're going to get their chance to attack. Who wants to make an attack for Zeon? Guess I'll do it. Anybody else? Okay. Hey, what? Say that again? Who wants to make an attack for Xeon? Uh, I'll do it. Okay. An attack 
uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, just uh, which attack should I? Is there a preference or? Like, uh, they're they're rushing in. Uh, claw attack. <laughs> They're gonna go for their claws. Alright. Claw attack. It's a plus five. Plus four. Oh, plus four, sorry. And I'm gonna twist face on that. Seventeen to hit. Okay. That's an eleven. That just hits. Okay. It's a... Go ahead and do your damage, uh, both of you. Alright, so claws D4 plus another D4. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's really just two D. Mm hmm. It's two D4, but they deal different damage types. Should I? Okay, for this, does it matter? Wait, no, they deal. No, they deal two. No, they don't just deal that. They deal two plus two D4. Two because of their plus... their because their strength, you know. Most of the damage from that attack is coming from mm. their additional uh, stuff, but uh, yeah. Uh, uh, does the should I separate them or does it matter? No, you can just no, you can just uh, pull all the damage. I think they got five. Okay, five and a nine. Okay. Is that making uh, Julian. a hit or not? Klutz is going to look at this and is rather than going after is going to keep the they're gonna to jump up and use their tail spike to essentially corral and so just right. to keep the third one from running away okay. uh yeah go in for another attack you two since you know Actually, uh, they that need one. to go in for another attack as well, because they they need to go for because they get an, the attack action. So that gives them two attacks. Han. Uh, I know two attacks. So one more. Plus four. Sixteen. Hit. Damage. Let's see. Let's just see. Oops. Two, four plus two. Six. Six. And then proper turn. No. Uh, was it? You said two more attacks, or just like the second attack? Actually, no. They hit. They hit with both of their claw attacks, so they get to make an additional. As a bonus action, an additional two claw attacks. Right. Fifteen. Hits. Seven. Okay. Uh... And a six. So... Seven. Six. Uh, five. Five, seven, yeah, six. Yeah, no. Uh, as it dies, and it, it uses it, it, unfortunately, was dumb and killed rather than eight, because it's its first kill. Mm. Uh, Julian, you you hit and then and then you didn't. Uh, yeah, I didn't. But it has, uh, it has another. It has its turn. It's going to instead make a, a stinger attack. So if you may, Han, that one, that one has a plus five. So a plus five. Got it. Alright, uh, twenty plus five. Fourteen. All right. And this will be on the one that Klutz kept from running away. Alright. Uh... Then let me, let me look at this. So... Oh wait, does it hit? Yes. Yeah. 
Alright, uh, Stinger. D6 plus 2d4. D6 plus 3 plus 2d4. Unlike its claws, which are, you know, small, it doesn't just- it's not just an unarmed attack, basically. Uh, 12. Alright! First attack nearly kills it. Was... Yeah, and, it's a uh, second attack. It's going to use its bonus action for consume life. Uh, okay, that's on you. Uh, yeah, no, that's on me. And then go ahead and kill it. So, all right. So, as long as you hit, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A nine. He misses. <laughs> As they, they get ready, and they open their mouth, the red, kind of, the red um, around them kind of, fl like, flares a little, ready for them to absorb nothing. They, they are so focused on that, they miss their next attack as one gouging spike through its uh, back leg. It's not going to be running anywhere. And, uh, yeah, these things are going to get a chance. Um, they're going to try to run away, and that's when Klutz stops them, because, you know, that's what Klutz was holding their action for, is just dropping down, and is just going to corral them with a, an attack to try and stop them from running. Uh, I'm not going to have Klutz make intimidation. They're, they are, they are intimidated close. by Klutz. Yeah, <laughs> they are intimidated by klutz. Uh, one second, someone's at the door. Ah, uh, we're right back. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Julian, you would be going first. This would be round three. Mm, I'm, I'm Kate's, sure. Kate's just watching this. Yeah, I figured. Like, wow. This one, I'm, I'm not trying to kill. More, I'm... I'm doing kind of, the down. kind of the same that klutz is doing. I'm just keeping okay. it here. Okay. So your your one bite on it has definitely made it like ow. But otherwise it's like no, it's it's not uh it's it's going it's trying to fight you, but it's more trying to run and it's not working. Uh but it's, it's yeah. Um as for as for uh uh, Zeon? 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 Zeon. Zeon. Uh, yeah, no, they are going to go in for, they're going to use their bonus action for consume life, go in for another two attacks. Just to see, and they're gonna they're gonna go in for one on each, cause it's young and greedy. Uh, it hits both of them. I'm just gonna roll one damage. Yeah, 2d4. Uh, and with the damage that was done to both of them, both of the attacks, uh, both of the attacks, uh, succeed and takes them both down. As it just uses its tail with precision, strikes the both of them, like, in the neck, and pulls it out. They're, yeah. It deliberately tries to do it in such a way that it is non-lethaling. It is basically making it so they are dying, but not just straight up dead. They could be saved. And the two creatures are going to make charisma saves that they can't succeed. Never mind. And yeah. Well, technically they could, but they fail. 
And yeah, <laughs> you see what it looks like for this as you see there's a pull of energy from the body as it goes to Xeon and the energy as it gets closer gains a color as it starts translucent and as it gets closer it becomes golden and as it gets towards their mouth it becomes this like blackish kind of energy like blackish red like in their image as they eat it <sighs> they just look to you I killed. I ate. Feed. More? Question mark? Like, the, the question mark is implied. <laughs> <laughs> they just look to you, Julian. I'm back. Mm. Wolf? Sorry. Uh, no problem. Yeah, he says, um... To thoughts, you notice anything as we were... Like in the closer areas, we were crawling these. Mm. Basically, I'd, I'd like to know if we drew any the attention. Drew any attention? Let's will fly up a bit, just around twenty to thirty feet up. Just enough to get a vantage point. Start looking around. No, nothing I can see, but, you know, I imagine these bodies are going to get smelt and the blood is going to yeah. travel. Okay. Something's going to smell this and come to take the meat. I do, I do look to Zeon. Huh? I thought you wanted to kill and eat. I did. I ate. What did you eat? Piece of their soul? I will go to into the saddlebags. Mm -hmm. And how big are these things? Uh, they're Hold on. they're not very big. These ones looks these one look like they were again they were up and coming. They are like they're in that weird area like dwarves where it's like oh yeah they're medium creatures are you sure okay would they like, finish us preserving whole body Ooh. Oh, man. how big is the chest of preserving hmm <clears throat> That's not how you spell chest. That's cheese. Chest.
chest of preserving. Here it is. Uh, the chest is the food and other things. Yeah, okay. The chest is two feet long, one foot wide, one foot tall. Mm. I do not believe so. No, actually, no. You would have to, yeah. Alright. Um, make the offer for Klutz to get a quick bite before we continue the hunt. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm. And yeah, while yeah. they're doing doing their due diligence, I will uh, shift yeah. back into my wolf state and see if I can pick back up the scent of the others. Uh, easy enough, since they are still in this direction. And, yeah, you, you can continue. Yeah, we'll continue going after these. All right. Heading after it, you do eventually come across the, the large creature, as you do see as the, um... There seems to be a small, like, scouting party of around four of those smaller ones. Well, these ones are bigger than the ones that you had seen there. They're actually properly man-sized, like, lizard, cre you know, like, creatures. Yeah. Going to investigate. But it's easy enough to dodge them, since... You can hide, right, like by just getting low in some in some in brush. And while your your fur doesn't exactly make it easier, you could just look like a rock. Is the thing. Um, Plutz can fly up since it's a little bit harder for them in the canyon. And you see, Klutz actually get frustrated with Zeon not basically as they're just flying about and say something to them when you two are when you see them flying up to a void almost like scolding them and you do see Zeon fly a little straighter after that not as many twirls okay alright and you can go past and continue after the the prize, as it were. Mm -hmm. I'll do so. And yeah, I uh, you do see that there's a, a a small break off from the river that trickles down. And does like like move into a cave? Mm. Okay, I want to examine the the trail, and I want to see how much traffic and what sort goes in and out of this place. Looks like mostly muck. Definitely something that you can that you would be able to like. Uh, that you'd be able to, like... You can tell that the smaller ones would have no problem getting up and down this. And it's less to keep things out and more just, uh... It seems like muck from the river or some dirt has essentially been smoothed across along with scrapes along. Let's say roll me nature. Okay. Seventeen. Okay. It's easy enough to tell that the creature is big. Like it's big enough that um like rotund 
almost. It is big enough that it is... It is sometimes a problem for it to get in and out. Let's see. <sighs> okay. I will mentally uh, speak to Tlutz. See, as though they're also a hunter. Mm hmm. So what's your take? Do we risk going into its territory? It ate. I think that's good enough. We go in there and we might have to not, we might have to fight instead of hunt. Yeah, especially if the others show back up. Hmm. Okay. And I'll, yeah, I'll back off and I'll, I'll have Klutz, um, tell Ledzi on and Kate know that we're heading back. Okay. And while they're doing that, I want to keep, uh, keep me ears and nose open for anything that might catch our scent. All right, roll me perception check. Just hearing advantage. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Um, you notice that uh, on the inside, uh, there's movement, like as if there's a. As if something in there moves around and there's a little bit of an echo. So that does tell you that, some, that something is in there, but more importantly, I guess, this. These canyons, there are caves going through some of them, if you can find the right spots. And these and these dens like this would probably be pretty well fought over so yeah so whatever it this, is it's strong enough to hold us at least for a time but it given that it has so many with it it might just be a number a thing of numbers yeah. and it can hold it off but by itself probably not considering if a bigger one of whatever those were those were pretty weak Hmm. So yeah, they have the numbers. Yeah. They have yeah, a we'll... numbers advantage with a large leader. Hmm. Yeah, we'll head back. No need to overdo it. Okay. Um. And once again, with your speed, you can make your way. You can make your way out. But you do end up uh, catching the attention of your way out. The the uh, party that went to go investigate what went on. And Xeon does something that you're that uh, you're not exactly uh, you you don't you didn't know that they could do. They stop. They like turn around mid uh, mid flight and start conjuring up these like orbs of like electric like it crackles with electricity but it doesn't look like electricity just looks like this magical energy and starts firing it down less trying to hit them more trying to stop them from chasing you guys and it kind of works being, you know, as they're a little flashy. And yeah. It is firing it down. It stops them from following as they continue flying with, uh, with Klutz. Klutz then, you know, lands and keeps up with you. 
Yeah, after a bit I will um, slow it down and so I can shift back, put, put back on the clothes. Okay. Yeah. And as I do, I'll look to um, Xeon. That was a that was a good first hunt, but have more focus next time we do this. I know you're young, but this is dangerous. Don't treat it like a game. Mm. They nod their head. And secondly, whenever you get the urge to kill or hunt, you only do so when myself or an end motions to Klutz or her with you. They nod again. But Zeon thirst for Zeon thirst for life. Well Zeon will sometimes but have to wait. Nod said. Zeon is not hungry. I'm no, no, she doesn't say. I'm not hungry. And I actually go to put a hand on their head. This is strange. Hmm. You'll get used to it in time. You did good. Yeah, what kind of, yeah, what kind of weirdo doesn't like head pats? Come from Kate. <laughs> Who also had a similar reaction? Hey, what a case! Case just, case just like lucky. <laughs> yeah, well, let's try and catch up to the others. Should I? Hmm. Fly as fast as I can. Try to catch up. Stay with us as a group. Okay. We don't know if anything bigger out there. If they catch wind of you and you're on your own. Well, Zeon become. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I become food. Very much so. But I... We hunt as a pack. Oh. <laughs> okay. I will remember this. Alright. Let's get going. Glitz is just, you know, in your head. Yeah, this is some this is some weird shit. I scolded her. Yeah, uh, I saw. Also, word of warning. I have some concerns about if they're eating souls. That's a little, you know. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm fully aware, and that's something we. We need to, we need it's to not un understand the deal with them. Apparently it's not an entire soul, but you know, that's freaky. Yeah. Yeah. Cuts the auto. Hey, that's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they are devil. And this is, you know, divine beast are a, you know, <laughs> they are a, <laughs> they're essentially a demon, celestial, you know, version. But angel. Oh uh, yeah. Mm hmm We hit we head off. Alright. Um and with that we will take a break. And and cut back over to the boys heading to the oasis. Alright. They are very cute. You are as a Alice, 
Lucina and uh, Cortash and Simone, you four are the ones with Rago and Blanc, of course. Of course. Um, of course. Are here, of course. Um, that I left to continue your way, as now that it's now that it's day, you can see far better where you are, and that the oasis is not far. It is honestly. You have maybe a couple hours to go before you reach it. Uh, it's also this is probably the most foliage other than the underground uh the underground cavern on like where that water elemental lived this is the area with the most foliage you've seen thus far and it seems like that is despite how it almost seems like there hasn't like between the wet season and the dry season there wouldn't be enough time for this much to grow like in the short period of time it seems like a fairly sizable amount for you Kortash that might be weird but at the same time with elementals they're yeah. They they make it easier for things to live usually or harder, depending on you know the area. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. The two of you uh, head towards the Oasis of Stars. I imagine. He. Hmm. I imagine that was just ye. Ye. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we do. Um, once again, there's, so the ambient life just takes a massive uptick. You see more birds. The critters of the desert don't skitter away from Rago and Blanc as much, and from you guys' passing, as you do then descend upon what looks to be a basin here that has water pouring down onto it from the different mm, waterfall is a strong word but they are it is a descent of water that does trickle and essentially, there are some drops that does cause it to give this almost soothing feel. Kortash, you don't even have to do anything to feel the ambient elemental energies. As you can feel, there are elementals here out the wazoo. Hmm. I see. And... Yeah. <sighs> By this point, you you two have reached it, and as you're moving towards the bottom of the basin, do you want to talk or say anything to one another about this? Hmm. Uh, Rodesh will say we're here to get information on the on the, the library. When we get that, we can leave if you want, so on. Sure. Nothing. Cool. Yeah, nothing keeping us here. Hmm. Uh, yeah. The both of you reach down. You are... You feel watched. Like, it's very much you, you both feel watched. 
Hmm. Uh, they don't really know we're here already. Uh, Cortex will say, if you're willing to look at us, why not come and say hi at the very least? Not dangerous. As he just keeps you, walking. You see as you say that, that there are element there are elementals that pull themselves out of the water like water weirds. You see the where's eyes the of I mean where's the mermaid that me and fucking Simone saved? You don't see them. Alright. Not initially. Alright, they died. Um that's sad. But you see like a like a like a crocodile reminiscent to what you, Koratash, would have seen in the in Purgatorio. Um that looks far larger than your average crocodile. It also has elements of like almost as if it was made almost of the swamp. Like pieces of like algae falling off of it, like hair kind of obscuring it. And you see the you see these almost like bug like creatures pull themselves out of the earth and start glancing at the at you guys as you passed. And a rem a tree that you recognize starts wobbling Boy. towards you too. And in in Terran in, Okay. Friends. Ah, train. I say back in uh, primordial. Nice to see you got here safe. As it just like takes a few more steps and just plops down, moving hard. Mm. Yeah, I get that. Mo Moving for friends, okay. I right, get closer to <laughs> the crane and pat him on the head. It... And you do see, you do see, uh, Kortash, uh, a little salamandrake pull up to you with like four other of its friends. Tash, tash, tash. We, oh, we are fire friends. Looks like mm. the squirrel. Mm. He, my friend. And stupid I... rock. You you hurt me. Put rock on me. I go over to Gil, and uh, I mm. heal, and I take up pick up a stick and scratch its head, and I say, "Hey, we live in harmony here. No fighting. All right." Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just shaking its head up and down. Hmm? It just gets up back on two as it gets back on four legs. The other ones, Tash, Tash. All right, I get back up from kneeling. As... <laughs> Hello, oh. it's you two. And you both see hmm? Angel. Oh, yep. Angel. Simamid. As she uh, she swims over and then just sits on the bank. I'm I'm glad you both made it. I actually. Why did you come? 
Did you, you are you? Uh, uh, we came looking for some answers for things. And also came to help uh, my friend here, points to Simone. Oh, thank also, you again, both of you. Uh, yes, this is a very important matter. Um, I, I should probably, yeah, um, as, uh, she says I should probably, you hear and see two other women pull themselves out of the water as they look to you. You too. This place is not for your kind. Why have you come? Cortesh uh, gets up, uh, straightens himself out. Small, you want to tell them, or should I just? I believe, I believe this is your business. Right. See these two people. <clears throat> and of course, Angel. Wait, they, they, they're not loading for me. Oh, there they are. Oh, no. Is that how you spell Angel? I think that's how you spell Angel. That is how you spell Angel. You did it. Okay. You did it. Thank you. <clears throat> Uh, Cortex will straighten his back out, straight, and, um, say, Well, I think I have, uh, just as much a right to be here as any of you, ironically. And Why is a that? A man who very much cares for the... Uh, uh, well, I'm a man that very much cares about the world and nature and the elements and spirits within nature. You know? And if something's happening involving it, I feel like I should, you know, be there at the very least. Sisters, this is the one that helped me. Both of them. Please. You, you mustn't Can't they stay for a bit longer? You know that they are not. They do not belong here. This is a matter for this is a matter of the elements, not of mankind. We shall not harm you. As long as you leave. May I have your names? <laughs> the one that's been talking, the one that uh, that has two blades at their side. Mm -hmm. As the first one to speak. I am L I am Lorel. L hmm, Loire. Okay. I Sister. You mustn't be rude. They are more, they are man, they are man's creation. They are a part of the mortal realm. We are ambassadors, sister. Show your respect. <laughs> Vlogal. as I will put their names in chat over their, uh, over their images. Okay. Well, I'll continue to venture forth into this area, and all I will say is may the Great Spirit watch over you as well. For we do not 
want this harmony? You see as the you see as the uh, Gil and their friends back up from them, almost not scared but mm, wary. Uh, Crane doesn't move, but you see yeah. they from closing their eyes they do open their eyes and give like acknowledgement to them. This is not a place of, uh, combat. This is a place to talk. And as a shaman of the air, of the wind, I believe I have more than enough right to be here. Now, if you please. Wait, Angel, is this you? You're a shaman? You smiled at Angel. Oh, happy days! Wait! By our rules, shamans are allowed. Only shamans and druids. So, that means that... Yes, Angel, I know what it means. You may mingle. But the meeting is to be only for... Uh, uh, uh. Loga, it is impolite, and you know that that is not how this is done. You wish to know if he had right to be here, and he has proven as much. Now, I believe it's time that I step up, as she gets uh, she gets to the edge of the shore and gives a and just stands next to angel i believe i believe your kind prefers handshakes if i'm correct am i mistaken uh no handshake hug fist bump any sort of act of acknowledgement is perfectly fine <laughs> Which would you prefer? He opens his arms. Oh, I hope you don't mind getting wet. She goes That's in for a hug. hug. I give her a hug. It is nice to meet you. You said your name was... Kortash. Kortash. As I said, I am Loa. Loa. <laughs> Fucking French. I'm half Loire. French. This should be Loire. Loire. Uh, You're just facing your whole fucking lineage, bro. I, I know, right? Oh, <laughs> would be very sad. My ancestors would be very upset with me. Um, but, yes. Now. I do want I do want you to understand I do not mean to come off as rude but this place this convergence does not happen but every mm, half a decade to a decade uh. it's only when important information needs to be shared from our home where you see one of our you see our elder they are their husband is on the other side they are communicating with her and she is able to she is able to get this information in droplets. She, the ripples of this information take time for her to read, but once she does, she can then inform all 
of the elemental creatures and other beings of the land. What is what our fate might be and what hope there is for us to return home. There are some of our kind that have found portals out, as it seems elemental beings, such as ourselves, find it to be the easiest to return home. Unlike many of the others, they struggle. We have a bit of an easier time, but the stronger we are, the harder it is. And so, it, this information that he gives us is, he, through our elder, allows us to find portals where some of our brethren can go or come from if they so wish to come to this plane and come to this area particularly. Obviously not this land, but the continent. Uh, Lunarvum, I believe it's called. Loose. I'm... And so, it is humbly, we are the ones who gift this information to all. It is what we have taken up as our duties. We are some of the oldest, <laughs> looks Angel, some of us at least. Oh, but I'm, I'm old. We are some of the oldest water oh, nymphs. Oh, honey. <laughs> we are some of the oldest water nymphs. Well, that we've ever encountered, at least. I can tell. Mm -hmm. You uh, named after oh. great rivers. <laughs> you all have a very royal energy to you all. Yes, you, oh. even you, Angel. She gives a small smile, and her cheeks go a little purple. Oh god, she can't breathe. <laughs> oh no, she's dying. Uh, um... I... Actually, no, as, as you say, that's like, if you think we're something, you should see, uh, you should see some of our sisters. Hmm. Although I don't... <laughs> that's always been funnier. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Professional. I do believe, if you're a shaman of the wind, you do have permission to come here and, as Vlogal said, mingle. But what is it you came here for, as I doubt you came here just out of simple curiosity? Well, it was... Well, it was curiosity, <laughs> but I oh, guess God. we, for information about a library. Mm, information. I yeah. see. <laughs> hmm. I... I do believe I might be able to be of aid, but I can only relay your and your coming to our elder. Hmm. But I must ask, who are the other lovely people you've brought with you?
Would you all like to introduce yourselves, uh, or would you like to be introduced by your shaman? I'm fine with introducing myself. Uh, hello, pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name's Simone Burnsong. Simone Burnsong. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Someone who doesn't know what burn song means. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need my mom to be the, the reason that uh, they, they killed all the water imps. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna make that a meme now. Whenever someone doesn't know who Simone is. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, we won't have to send them all about it, because that's gonna happen a lot. <laughs> You know, if Simone oh uses God. dad's last name, I feel like we're gonna have, well, like, could. a different you reaction. Could. No, 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 your, your dad doesn't introduce his full fucking name. Who are you? Uh... This? Uh... <laughs> yeah, Cortis only has been using his first name. <laughs> I, I like to imagine that's how he got that from his mom. <laughs> It's like, oh yeah, no, it's polite. You got that from your mom. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it's polite. It's like, you know, it's, it should be funny. <laughs> it should be perfectly fine. Uh, who else is with us? I believe it's Lucina. Uh, Lucina, Rago, Blanc, Alice. Right, robot. Uh, that, I go to Lucina. This is Lucina. She is, uh, she been... waves tentatively. She's uh, sort of helped me out of a many big problem. And this, and I go to Alice. This is Alice. Or, Hello. Just in a robot's body. I can sense I... her. I. It's strange that I can sense a cre a man-made creature. Yes, because I don't think she's a man-made creature. I... <laughs> well, that's a discussion for another time, but I do believe she is trapped within this body. And uh, one of my many... I'm gonna help her get out. Logal, can you please, without being rude to our guests, as they are now officially guests, use your ability. Yes, sister. As you see Logal hold up her blades in a motion of an eye, like an eye peering at something. Mm -hmm. As it, as a small bit of light, it's this dull kind of light that almost reflect, uh, like uh, refract, uh, refracts Refract. the light, the light in the area, and it mm. hits Alice, and a girl can be seen uh, where Alice stands. I knew it. Yes, there it yes, they do have a soul within them. A soul bonded to that machine. They their soul is trapped by whatever is flowing through them. The liquid perpetuates their existence. And a core at their center nice. allows them to be attached to this thing. Hmm. Huh. Question, when they show the image of the girl, like, are we able to see or no? Um, you do see, but rather than, you don't see it not nearly as clearly as she does. You see what looks like the, this, like, like I said, it's like a reflection, it's like a refraction of light in, like, 
it's kind so of more like a uh, silhouette. Yeah, it's like ang- it's like this angular kind of ref- uh, refraction of like you know bits and pieces, allowing you to get glimpses of the person. But it's mostly just a silhouette that you guys glimpse. Hmm. Cortash, you could probably, if you wanted to, try to hone in on that and to get a better look at them. But that would be something you'd have to yeah. attempt to do. I will attempt to do so because I would like to see who we're getting back. Or who Um, I'm going to save. Okay. I would like you to roll me... Quick, go to water stance. (laughs) Um, you... Shaman uses wisdom, and so I'd like you to use... Shaman uses... Shaman uses charisma. Charisma? Okay. You then... Charisma. Yeah. And uh, I'd like you to make a straight charisma check. I would say Arcana, but this is a little advanced. And not something you fully have a grasp on. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Wait. Alright, I'll wait. I'll add a d6, because why not? I have two. Sixteen? Is that a second? Sixteen? You get glim- like, similar. You get glimpses, but you're not able to get the full thing. You get more, so I could essentially- I could essentially crop out an image, but for all intents and purposes, you do not get a good look at them, but you do get a look at them. If I were to try to do this, but only focus on their face, would I be able to focus only on their face, not their entire person? Yes. And to that end, I would allow you to roll again with the plus one. Okay. But that would have, but you'd be basically zeroing in. Yes. Nope. Nine. Nope. Yeah. No, no, no. Unfor- That's perfectly Unfortunately, fine. you're, yeah, you're able to get, once again, these bits and pieces, so you get a better look at them. Mm-hmm. But it's still a silhouette for the most part. Fair enough. That's a very uh, handy thing you you do there. Appreciate it. How does Al- uh, Alice look? Alice, they hold their head down and they almost like, hmm, it's actually, I'm going to need you, I I can't even have you do this because you're reading body language on a creature you're not really sure of. You have to roll insight. I'm going to say roll, I'm going to actually let you decide. Do you want a higher DC or do you want disadvantage? Uh, higher DC. Higher DC? Okay. Get a 30, pussy. <laughs> nope, 28. Uh, oh. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Sh- um, shift mm-hmm. fate. You need to get a huh? 5 or a 6. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yeah! As no. you did get, you just you did get one beneath. So I'll give you something for that because you know that's close enough that you do. That's close enough that you do get something, with the insight. You can tell that they, are moving in such a way like they, don't want. They don't want to kind of. Uh, make any sudden movements because they don't want to ruin anything about what's going on here but they they seem like they're almost like they're pistons and everything is ready like they're on edge at that uh, hmm. i'm gonna place a hand on them you hear a 
as some of the some of the the like the pistons kind of release and you see some of their like mechan like their like muscles relax not entirely though just not entirely yeah it's more of a like yeah i know i'm here if you need me hmm. yeah but uh yeah mm. go ahead it's okay uh yeah it's a bit of a sore subject and who are those two lovely ones oh just <laughs> they looking at rago and mm -hmm. uh Those are Bidey's kids, Rago and Blanc. Indeed, they Powerful, are. Powerful. Majestic. Hungry. <laughs> hey, hey, Rago. What's, what's going on here? I see a lot of everything moving around. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Fucking... <laughs> Get the voice of Grinder from Saturday, Sonic Saturday M out of my head. <laughs> it's, oh my goodness. Hey, it's me, Rago. <laughs> oh god, you, you've got game. that stuck in my head now. It's fucking... You monster. This it's is just me, all I'm gonna Rago see them as now. Sonic <laughs> This is all I see them as now. I love it, but I hate it. Oh, bucket of guts, go get them. <laughs> what <the fuck>? uh, <laughs> did you just uh, call me? Bitch. Alright. Uh, yeah, no, they're all going blank. They're really good. <laughs> How lovely. Hey, Rago. <laughs> See those water things over there? Fucking crazy, boy. Uh, as she, uh, as, as uh, Angel will look up. We're called nymphs. <laughs> Holy shit! They can understand Rocco Yes, Angel, so all of the nymphs have a special power. <laughs> oh my god. And Angel's special power is that she is a universal translator. <laughs> they, could, they could understand that's, that's us. That's cool though. I like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Help! <laughs> yeah. That one, just like, this is like one of the most we hungry. Artists. But that one became a storm. <laughs> nah, Rago, uh, nah, Rago, nah, Rago and Blanc are cool. They shoot like you can see. <laughs> man, that was a no. Nah, in uh, fact, they probably look at him and go like, "Man, big burp, big burp." <laughs> they they burp lightning. <laughs> he probably farted really hard. Quite literally, they have a thing inside them that lets them burp Oh, god. But, uh, you can but understand yeah. them. Awesome. But, um, I, uh, I look at the, the one mm -hmm. Alright, mm -hmm. shit. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, cool. That's why Angel was about to I, um, come up, and she just goes water and, and looks back at you, uh, for Atash. So, um, what's the meeting about, if I could, uh, inquire? It is, as I said before, to give information to all of those who wish on this side, who wish to, uh, well, who wish to return home 
as there are, if you notice, many of the elementals here are weaker. Not all of them. Some come here for other information from the ho- from their home, but many of the ones here are weaker, as this allows mm. them to make a pilgrimage to potentially find portals back home. This is sometimes easier if they're aided by a larger elemental who might be able to open or hold open portals. But, as I said before, with the planar barriers the way they are, the stronger this, uh, the stronger they are, the harder it is. For instance, Crane there is here for information uh, involving their home, but not to find a portal out because they are too powerful. I see. But, uh, but the Salamandrix in the back there, it's okay, darlings, we won't hurt you. Mm. Water. Water bad. <laughs> bad water. Uh, they are looking for a portal that they can potentially make a pilgrimage back home. They were separated from the rest of their group and wish to return. And so, as you can see, there are many different reasons why elementals are converging here, but all of it is because of our elder, who is being fed information by their husband on the other side. I see. Hmm. But if, but, as a, but if you wish for information, I can bring your, I can bring your request for an audience to our elder, and it will be up to her and her sisters whether you are able to meet her. Uh, all right. I I would like that. Are there considering? Are there any conditions? Hmm. Like what do you mean? Sorry to cut you off, but this meeting will be a private one. One that will be. That are there any conditions that you have during this meeting? things that you wish to exclude or include as a part of it. If you need time to answer, you can take that time, as this will be a formal request. Logal, I do have one question. What is... Go ahead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, um, am I going by myself? Yes, that would be the usual, uh, I guess, protocol, but you can make that a condition. I see. Hmm. (laughs) Why are we catering to them so? Would we do this for just anyone? Just any druid or shaman who comes our way? He has come here with no real purpose that he has told us. His purpose is his own, and he wishes to get information. He said as much. Now, we are here to facilitate communication between all of the elemental creatures 
Or do you not see shamans and elementals as elemental creatures? Shamans and druids as elemental creatures. They are mortals at the end of the day. I look to I look to Volga. Does it count if I die? That I have two spirits living within me right now. You would not be of our concern then. You would be of the gods and their squabbles. Then why did I get brought here and turn into a wind shaman by the great spirit? You see the you see a smirk on Lorana, Lora, uh, fuck, Luar, 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 Luar. It's Luar. 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 Yeah. Luar. It's like it's like Luar, but Lo, Lo, Luar, Luar. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see a smirk appear on her face as she just allows this to play out. Knowing that she could interrupt her, but it's like, no, 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 roast her for a sec. Let her cook. <laughs> Who let him? Co Who let her cook? You're right. You're um, right. You should cook her. <clears throat> I say, why do you say that? Does she have a response to that or no? Nope. <laughs> she seems like she's like looking for words. As she seems to be gathering herself, I say, in all due respect, Volga, I do not have a problem with you, honestly. I think you're a very nice lady, along with your sisters, or spirits, as as a shaman and as someone who has spirits dwelling within me, or not even as a shaman, as a person who has died and has been brought back by two spirits, I think I'm the perfect person to be a shaman. And I think I'm one of the only people that are still considered that should be allowed to be here. Me being a shaman is just icing on the cake, particularly speaking. Considering the elemental constellations also harbor negative and positive energy. How about we, instead of being negative, we be positive to one another. My name is Cortesh. You're, you're Volga. Check. Persuasion check? Okay. Roll me a persuasion check. Uh, Not for her, but for all of those around you. Alright, before I finish, uh, mm. before I do, I'm going to finish what I was going to say Sorry. and say. Uh, uh, no, you're good. No, you're good. Uh, I say, my name is Cortesh, and you're Volga. I'm a shaman, and you're a water spirit. It's a pleasure to meet you. I hold up my hand to her, and I'll roll for <laughs> As you have a lot of spirits and a lot of elementals around you right now. All right, Angel, uh, 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 uh Crane, and got uh. Angel. G got what the third one i'm gonna heal uh I'm, I'm, come on help my boy out all right we got like three out of uh, four you know 19 yeah so you see all of the the different elementals that i had mentioned before and more as there are many around watching this encounter there are mm -hmm. hundreds of eyes that are on this encounter, and as you hold your hand out to her, she is, looks around as all of them seem to, for the most part, side with you on this. Uh, before, uh, while she's looking at me, I'm going to mind link with her really quickly. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to say... Come on, don't don't look like the bad guy here. You don't look like the bad guy. You 
she just like her head like like snaps back to you before you see her roll her eyes and she moves her hands to the side her swords disappearing uh on uh moving like to her uh to her lower back she moves forward to you in a small whoosh of water like a small wave that laps at your boots she grabs your hand and mm -hmm. shakes it uh while she does it i go in for a hug <laughs> <laughs> As you go in for a hug, Nug, she is about to react as she remembers what you said and then hears all of the all of the elementals kind of give a small kind of whoop and cheer. Yep. Of difference of you hear that, you know, just all of the elementals give this cheer as different birds that look like they have like different birds that are obviously not from here give their call mm -hmm. all different element different earth elements stomp their feet this sound of fire giving way to crackle and sparking and you see a you hear a small chuckle from angel as, as she does not her. reach for anything to hit you yeah, with I... Uh, in, in her mind, I say, Don't worry, it's almost done. After this, you can go back to hating me. I don't hate you, though. And I <laughs> stop mind linking with her and I let go. Alright. Uh, if possible, I would uh, like for Simone specifically to be with me when I talk with the Elder, if possible. Those are the only real conditions I have, unless Simone has others that he would like to apply unfortunately honey you are the only one allowed to make conditions if you wish you I can see. speak with him you can speak with him and spend a short time i will wait here for the time being or rather All i right. can go back and angel can come and get us since you are since you seem to have a connection with her Oh yeah, I'd be happy to have Angel come get us. In that case, look Al, we can return to our we can return to our sisters now. I smile and wave at both of them. There's a small there's a small like gentle uh, wave back. And a small chuckle as Vlogal does not even bother and disappears yeah. under the water. Yeah, yeah. All of her things yeah, disappear yeah. with her. Yeah. yeah. All right. It is... And. I turn to Samoa. <laughs> All right, Tess, I don't know how you. What is Samoa? Wait, what? Uh, I guess is it I guess... this? Is... Oh, hold on. Uh, is at uh, this uh, point. Yeah, but... That there is that Julian mm -hmm. is just making it at the top, and there's and you two as you turn back to talk to Simone, Cortash with your passive you catch Julian at the top and it's like, <laughs> man, if he was earlier this would have been problematic. I was just like, hmm, good timing, buddy. <laughs> oh, good no. timing. Man, if you were any earlier, this would have been really problematic. <laughs> you would have to deal with racism. <laughs> uh, Why is there a wolf there? <laughs> Why is there uh, Sorry, no pets allowed. Uh, Damn. Damn. house broken. More just, uh, more just, oh, uh, boy. oh no, a, a fae, a celestial, a man rides in with a, fla a fae, a celestial, an aberration, and is a shifter. Oh. 
Yeah. Dude. Oh boy. All right. So. Yeah, you catch that. I go to Julian and I grab. Yeah, I go to. I'm like, well, Angel, we'll uh, Angel went with her sisters. Yeah. No, Angel is here. is still Angel. Like lowered herself into the water and is and has sat on the side of the bank. Um, essentially as close as she feels comfortable getting since she doesn't want to be out of the water. Yeah. 100%. I go to Angel and I pat her on the head and look, uh, we'll come back when we are finished. And I will... Okay. And I will bring Julian, Alice, and Lucian, or Lucina, not Lucian, Lucina, hmm. to where I said Julian coming from. Mm-hmm. As, uh, yeah, a lot of the elementals go about their day, go about what's going on here, and they just mingle. Mm. You can very oh, much tell say, the fact that, that there's yeah. no elementals fighting here. There's 100% a no fighting kind of rule going on. Yeah. You doused my brother last week. Now, now he's just ass. Well, you, well, you made my sister into steam. <laughs> Oh shit! I I pet Crane on the head before I go. Julian, I assume mm -hmm. we meet up with Julian. Ah uh, yes, and Julian. Yeah. Plus is, is just upon getting here. Oh. Oh shit. <clears throat> oh shit! Stop. You know. Um. Wait, I get a, I got a bad feeling about this for me. Um, if I get there in time, I'm gonna tell Klus to get the fuck out. Uh, I think I'm, I think um, if what I'm feeling is right, shit. So Julian, you don't need me, right? Assume not, no. Um, mind if you just get off here and like I'll I'll wait, I'll wait, like over here. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll watch Zion. It's fine. <laughs> Let's see, uh, and Sebastian, Zion, you you can stay with her. Okay. Oh, I have I have a feeling that I'm about to be told the same from Cortish. <laughs> oh, do that. Kate uh, hops off. This place is so beautiful. The, the ground corrupts as Kate walks against the grass. It turns it, black. Jesus Christ. It, it's almost as beautiful as the city. Maybe just as beautiful as it. I can see it all in one go. Kind of. It, it goes off pretty far. But I can at least see the end of it. Wow. And yeah, I assume me and Kate go up to where Cortesh and the rest are approaching. Yeah. As you two meet on the slope downward. Hey. Hey, how have things been going here? I made new friends. You make it look so easy. Not for you. Uh, we managed Thanks. to... But, uh... Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. No, no, go, go, go. Uh, we managed to get uh, a bit of a hunt in for Xeon, and there's something we need to talk about later, but that's a time thing for later. But for now, it's settled. All right. Uh, so we have to, uh, you know, uh, come up with some stipulations before we talk with the uh, the head honcho. And um, I really want to demand said stipulations because I'm a shaman, I guess. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, I, 
I would like it for as least people to be there as possible. But I do want Simone to be there. And I would like you to be there as well, because, you know, you're a king, you're a prince. Not, not sure. Or Tash, don't call him yeah. a king. That would, make, that would make me a princess. Wait, no, it wouldn't. I mean, it could, if you adopted mm. me, but no, that would be weird. No, hmm. You see her just sit down on the side, on like a rock, as, what and am start I? thinking about it. <laughs> as the rock, as the rock starts rolling with her sitting on it. Hmm. Oh. Hey, go off me. Rock can't just. What you doing here? Damn, Theodore. <laughs> kind of. Theodor. In Terran, that is basically what it says. It's like. <laughs> Yeah, I can go. I can go. Go in to meet them. Oh. Okay, my Discord decided to randomly show us. Mm. Uh oh. No, it's it's all good now. It's all good. Yeah. All right. Re recording's good. <laughs> no. Go back. Well, if it's just. But uh, yeah. Well, if I'm, I I'm, I'll be fine going in with you if you if you want me to. Hey, the recording is the recording still paused? No, I started back up. Oh. Oh, okay. Whew. Now it looked like a. Fool. I assume when you started to talk. Yeah, it's when we started to talk, man. Well, yeah. Um, is there anything you guys don't want mentioned? Uh, oh yeah, those conditions. I. Yeah. Don't really know because. Okay. Just a I'm just asking now because if you like, hey, avoid so you have a void sort type thing, and it's like, wow, well, that's not what I want you to talk about <laughs> maybe keep that quiet we don't know how most but the th well the thing is like if there are strong elementals i assume they'd be able to sense the press things from like that oh. i don't know the nymphs didn't really seem to notice not not all the elementals seem to take issue with me having this yeah, well, so, I mean, most elementals don't really care, yeah. right? So I think as, uh, as long as I don't use any of the powers from the sword, I think, I'll, I, think I should be fine. Alright. Julian, is there anything you don't want to mention? I don't believe so. And I assume anything that would be... Honestly, I don't think there's anything that I'd be worried about being mentioned. Not to my knowledge, at the very least. Yeah. Alright. They also didn't mention any conditions, so you couldn't, you know, like you said, you could make a condition of you meeting that you have these two with you. Or just Simone. Yeah, that's what or you can make You can make a condition, you can make uh, other conditions, like it has to be on land, or something like that. Well, Every woman in the vicinity has to wear a bikini. <laughs> that will them. be easy. Yeah, I was about to say it's a water <laughs> to go to meet them. Uh, well, I was already wearing this. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I don't think there's anything else. Because uh, I was already going to do the condition of yeah, at least you have to be with me. <laughs> You could, and, also, uh, set, you could also set time limits if you, you know, if you felt, you know. Once again, I'm I'm just putting things out there just because once they give the request, yeah, that's the I request. Don't, yeah, I, don't, I do not believe that there, there are times everyone is worried about. Yeah, you are good. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah. Actually, yeah. What's up? somebody roll. Uh, somebody roll just a straight intelligence. D twenty plus eight for Kate. I'll do it. All right, Father, do it. I want to do it. Oh. Yeah, well, you you roll for a lot of things. <laughs> I find plus whatever. Not twenty. You were complaining. Oh, I keep in mind. All right, dickhead. Kidding, 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 kidding. kidding, kidding, kidding. <laughs> Let me fucking be white or yellow. I can, I can. All right, shit, fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so, um, Kate just it's, it's Kate just is standing there. Wait, you get to make conditions, right? Yeah. Why not? To a degree, make, yeah. Why not make a condition that they have to answer a number of your questions truthfully, or that they have to answer. And sir, um, they, cause you're going there for information. So if this is a deal, like a contract of some sort, they could answer you in however way they want that they see fit by making it a condition of the meeting. You essentially, they give their word. If they break that, then that would be breaking an agreement, which. What are you? And that would that would make sense. You make sure they answer you, or they could answer questions like about they can answer questions about something from each of you, or maybe you can make a condition that they right. can't pry into anything involving any of you, or they into one of you. That makes sense? Okay. I feel like that makes sense. That does make sense, actually. It does. It does. So, that is a question, though, that it brings into mind. We're able to set conditions. I wonder if they will uh, have their own. Possibly. Hmm. One moment. I'm writing down the conditions. That was impressive for, for me to hear other people type and just go, man, what's that like? <laughs> man, couldn't be me, since I mean, literally. I'm man, man, wish... learn how to type fast. Wish that was me. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird because it's dark in my room. I can barely see the keys and I keep messing up words. I feel like I feel horrible. I'm, I'm, I'm a failure. Man, uh, one thing I really appreciate when uh, when it came with like getting this new laptop is that uh, oh. the, <laughs> the backlight with the keys worked. Uh, oh, you I... son of a bitch. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just saw Kome as well with the Genarjimi game real computer. Fucking, those are so gaudy to me. Why would I want a fucking flashing keyboard when I click a button? So those Listen. are so gaudy to me, but I also understand the backlight key makes so much sense. When you're in the dark, <laughs> but you don't want to turn yeah, on the light, it can see better. Like, it helps, it helps. Like, I've like, seen it, it helps, I, but it always seems so gaudy to me. I may, I've literally been in the dark and just, and just like guessing, like, wait, what the fuck am I pressing? <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm good at typing. 
I was just in the dark, like. So you you type enough, and eventually you'll just know where most of the keys muscle are. Muscle memory. Yeah, well, I look at you, Wolf, for your fucking muscle memory since you work at an office job. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> God, I. <laughs> Don't hate the player. Fucking hell. <laughs> and well, you said skill issue. <laughs> you got the dick! <laughs> <laughs> Casual command grab says what? Command grab says what? Uh, uh myself. And my. How many questions do you think we need? <laughs> Remember, if you put a limit on it. Yeah. Uh, yes. I don't know, at least three. Well, actually, actually, you know what? I got a better idea. <sighs> Everyone needs to say the truth. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That could legitimately be a condition. No one, uh, no party is allowed to lie. Hmm. Welcome back. You came back? Uh, Dragon. Oh, Dragon's back. Welcome back, Dragon. Uh, hmm. So, often my companions can ask questions regardless of status. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. So I got three so far. Okay. I think these are good. My companion, Simone and Julian are able are to be there for the meeting. Number two, my question. Any questions? Actually. It's the best asked of, must be must be answered. Any questioned? Fuck! I saw the answer with two R's. Yes, sir. Any questions uh, there you must go. be answered honestly to the best of their ability. All right, that keeps everybody on an even playing field. Mm -hmm. Myself and my, companion, uh, my companions can ask questions regardless of status. That means that you are now n no longer the one, once they accept that, able to ask questions. Any of them can ask questions. Mm -hmm. You know, yep, perfectly fine with that. Uh... Yep, I'm perfectly fine with that. Quick. Unless Real you don't quick. want that to happen, I could ask no. the questions, but like. No, I, I, I just realized something because we're all dealing with elementals. You might want to put in an environment that have, uh, that both sides are comfortable in. <laughs> yeah. I was waiting. <laughs> Yeah, because they could literally just say like, "Well, let's all go gonna... under the water." <laughs> <laughs> all right. well, technically, I can cast air bubble on all of us. I can cast air bubble on you all could. of us, and we all breathe underwater. You could. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's still the fuck. That's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, area. Oh, can we put a no these? violence clause as well. There's already no I mean, violence this whole clause, area clause on this uh, area. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So it should be fine. Yeah. yeah. The entirety of the Oasis of Stars, yo, somebody starts I, I, to fight well, actually... here. Okay. The only ones who are allowed to are technically the ones that the one that was ready to, uh, but with even they were like, hey, please leave before I do this because that goes alongside the be res being respectful. They are they were still uh, what's it called? Like an emissary. Excuse me. Yeah. Is it liaison? Emissary? Whatever. Hold on.
Hold on. I'm just proofreading this. Like Phoenix Wright, you know, like the lawyer game. Yeah, that that's a good idea. Yeah, I guess it could be the same one. All right, there it is. All right. Four, this meeting must take place in an area all parties are comfortable in. And five, if communications break down for any reason, the meeting is disbanded and is to pick up in an hour's time at the te at the same location. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right. All right. And in that case. All right. You're good to go. I think you're good to go. Hmm. Oh, yeah. By the way, yeah. uh, this comment got like skipped over by someone. I say it. Hortes, I don't know how you do it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. It's almost like you're, it's almost like, you know, your master chose you for something or something like that. It's weird. It's almost like you... What the fuck you know, are you talking about? What are you talking like about? It's like you're good at this. Anyway, sorry. I never oh. believed in me. Oh! So, sorry, God, God, was just, me. God was just amusing <laughs> to themselves. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I right. wanted to be dead as soon as I got there. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, <Sorry>, Christ. <laughs> Alright. We go back to Angel, me, Julie, and Simone. I told the senior to okay. keep an eye on uh, Alice. Alice and is uh, more than happy to just like go back up uh, to the top. Hmm. Or if you want to go talk to a fucking crane pool guy. Anyway, let's go back this way. Angel. Hmm? As you head back down. Oh, sorry. No, wait. Hold on. Mm -hmm. say, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, but does anyone remember that SpongeBob like image of just Patrick petting his like pet rock? <laughs> That's all I can think of right now. <laughs> no, you can go when you feel like it. You're so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That just came to my mind. <laughs> Um, you can go when you're ready. Um, anyway, yeah, Angel, Angel. We're, back. we're back with our conditions. <laughs> I can cry it off. Uh, condition oh. one, my companions. Oh wait, 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 wait! Simone no, I'm, <gasps> I'm technically, I'm technically not. I'm technically not able to deliver that. I have to go and get the oh. OR. She's uh, we'll wait here. As oh but I see. But I um cross legged the water. Uh I hope you I wish you the best and hope everything goes well. I think it'll be really good that you're here. Um right. I'll be right back. And Yeah, I give him a thumb. <laughs> I, I, uh, hang out, I hang out with mm -hmm. Frank. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. The pioneers used to ride these babies for my <laughs> But <laughs> I just don't know that. It's a rock. 
Now, uh, yeah, as Luar, uh, uh, she comes back. Mm. Uh, you see, she returns alone. Hello. Ah, and another individual. Uh, would you like to introduce, uh, will you be introducing him or will he introduce himself? Yeah, my name is Julian. Julian. Pleasure to meet you, Julian. I am Lua. Lua. Um, water nymph, as I'm sure you've heard. Uh, I have now. To meet you. <laughs> well, it's just lovely. Now, your conditions. Uh, condition number one. My companions, Simone and Julian, are to be there for the meeting. Any questions asked must be answered honestly to the best of, of the ability of the abilities given by each party. Myself, my companions can ask questions regardless of status. This meeting must take place in an area all parties are comfortable to be in. If the communications break down for any reason, the meeting is disbanded and is to pick up, pick back up, in an hour time, in an hour's time at the same location. Now is that all condition? Now is all that all condition number one? <laughs> no, those are uh, uh, no. They're all different conditions. Okay. There are five. Now, I am able to speak on behalf of my sisters, um, as I will let you know. The final condition will be a bit of a oh. problem. I believe that it should be... It shouldn't pose much issue, but an addendum to that should be made. Okay. If, if the Elder or Sister Euphrates and Tigris are the ones to Stay otherwise, the meeting will end there and will start again either in another day or at the next meeting. Uh, how do you spell Tigris and Euphrates? You will see them shortly. <laughs> You'll they'll they'll have their images with their pick with the names. I promise. All right. I just want to write down it in the thing. Mm -hmm. But okay. I know. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna fucking spell it really bad. This is cool. <laughs> is yeah. Will that will that be a suitable addendum? That shouldn't be a problem. Okay. In that case, I will take these conditions and see. She just she just whispers, I think they'll be fine. Back to the elder. As she once again disappears into the water and rushes back. Mm. Mm -hmm. You are all standing there for around 10 minutes. Okay. Able to look around, talk, explore, or just stand there and wait. I just sit and meditate and wait. Okay. Meditating in this I, place, I you try. feel more connected with the elements. I'm going to do something I've been that Kortash has been hesitant to do. 
Okay. He is going to try to feel any lingering sparks of electricity. Yes. Less of a lingering, more of a persistent thrum. Within your gut, you feel this persistent thrum. It is not constantly, oh, like, knocking at your at the front of your senses, kind of like, you know, running your fingertips on some, kind of like touching things. But as you yeah. focus on it, it's as if running your fingertips. You can feel because you are deliberately touching. And there's this thrum of electricity. But it's not just electricity, it is, it is water, it is fire, it is, it is air, it is air, it is lightning, it is a storm. Uh, um, I'm just going to sit on that thought for a bit and wait for the ladies to come back. I don't know what anyone else is doing, but the what other I'm two. doing. You other two? Hmm. What will you be doing? Well, hmm. as we're waiting for the lady to get back, just chilling, Crane. All right. Crane seems to be happy with the attention. They also seem to. You can't tell if they're sleeping. <laughs> Crane just says, you remind me of another person that used to be my trainer. <laughs> <laughs> his, name was, his name was also Bird, so... Oh my god. <laughs> you were the best of friends. <laughs> uh... Then he killed my family. <laughs> then he killed my dad. So yeah, Sorry, well, continue. what are the other two doing? You, you're just chilling with Crane. What, are you, what about you, Julian? Uh, on, honestly, I'll... I'll just, I'll just uh, sit and wish. Honestly, I can't think of anything else right now. Alright. As... It is very clear when they are coming back. Uh, as you see... A small wave in this oasis form and come towards you. As peering in front of you three are three water nymphs, uh, seemingly uh, older and, from what you can tell, stronger than the last. These are... Water How much can they kick my ass? Uh, these ones? Solo? Uh, enough. That's all I need to hear. As these three appear. Oh. Well then. <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> Alright, shit just got serious. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit did just get serious. Uh, you call, you, the one right below, you basically just, uh, got the ones, uh, well, right below, as, a uh, Nile. As, a uh, Nile, Niagara, and... Bamaputra. All. The Hagra looks all, like she's about to stab one of us. <laughs> all of the Niagara? The second one? Oh, the second one? Oh, the second one? one yeah. Niagara Falls. Yeah. Yeah. Named after a waterfall, a, a very oh, cold waterfall. She, but like, look at her face, Clay. She looks like she looks like she yes. to have one of us. Yes, she looks so pissed off. Uh, there, <laughs> indeed. What I do to you? 
nothing existed. Uh, the uh, the Lord. oldest of them, uh, I believe, would be the uh, would be Nile as Nile. Nile River. Mm hmm As she is stands in the center, the other two flanking her. It's nice well. to meet you, Kortash. And this would be... Hmm. Points to you, uh, Julian. Samo. And points to you, Kort, uh, to you, uh... Uh, Simone? Julian? Uh, swap, uh, the last two. <laughs> I see. Well, then. It's nice to meet all of you. As your conditions have been agreed upon. Under one condition... Oh. Apparently, there is a fae that has walked within our borders. One that... One that... Our elder knows and wishes to speak oh, with. fuck! <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Hey. Uh, and this is a... Um... Condition. This for... is a condition of the meeting. They must be, they must come with you. Uh, I see. During this meeting. The business with them will be handled first. She has made that another condition of this meeting. I see. Do you agree? I can imagine that Julian said, Klutz, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> no, he, he just looked to uh, Kortesh, then Simone. I mean, it's not unreasonable. Wouldn't be. No. Yeah. I agree. And I'm going to uh, mentally get Klutz. <laughs> hey, God buddy. Damn it. Just here for a plus. Ah, uh, uh, damn it. Uh, yeah, it hmm. turns out the head honcho here and you have a bit of a history. They no, wanna, I think you're crazy. They want to speak with you. I don't think that's a that's a good idea. What I should stay here. Clouds, don't don't make don't make me make this in order. Um, <laughs> come on, bud. I thought we were that's, friends. <laughs> that's, we, we are. I consider us to be, and I wouldn't do this if we didn't need the information. We can go and look for a Sphinx. Come on, it's just Sphinx. <laughs> <laughs> You're that's... gonna hear it. Uh, <laughs> uh, come on. Do I got? Do I gotta? Who's gonna watch over the, you know, the little one and the weirdo Shit. little one? <laughs> Lucina and Alice are already back up there. Oh, come on! <laughs> just like, yeah, come on. I, I, I just looked to um, Nile Nigra and Ramaputra. One moment please. And I go up to our tutsis. <laughs> like, physically go up to our tutsis. You know, I forgot that you you can't fly right now, but I just assumed, like, alright, SMR mode flies up. <laughs> Get over here. Niall, Niall just looks to this, motions their hand, as she motions her hand in the direction of Klutz like she was told where they were. She just looks to you, Koratash. Why, hello, young man. Uh, hello? How, how old are you? Yes. 
I guess the meeting hasn't started yet. So? Hmm. Uh, 20, 21. Hmm. <sighs> Shame. What? Okay. I mean, look me up in another two decades and maybe we can <sighs> meet up. I mean, we're meeting up now. Too young for my taste. Want to hang out? Looks to Simone. Is he serious? Sometimes I, I can't tell, personally. He smiles. You know, <laughs> she squints with a coy grin. Hmm. <laughs> he goes we... back sitting cross-legged and waiting for fucking clutch. As you actually hear Niagara Sister Nile, you do not need another. You do not need another Ganassi. Your children already run rampant. Excuse you. I believe. I believe them. They are glorious creations, and I love every last one of them. You. You see, like, she just gives, like, a, her eyes cold, but a, <laughs> but a small smirk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ramaputra mm -hmm. will just look to the two of them, and Niall will just lift their head, will close their eyes and lift their head a little bit higher. Ni uh, Niagara will look to them. I am not. My children are much fewer in number. And she will just mm. continue to look to look back to you two. Meanwhile... <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> what do you post chat? Black dynamite. Tony <laughs> said, fucking go for it, my guy. Smash that water. So I posted black dynamite as he's fucking across the <laughs> The Nile River is... has been around for a long time. She may be water, but she hella thirsty. That is rude. <laughs> nah, she's not thirsty. She's fucking hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Making me uh, you like, what? <laughs> Niagara is n is not as bad, but uh, she she's she's done she's, she's done her fair share. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but uh, yeah. So this is how water capacity gets made. In my mind. <laughs> uh. Ramaputra, who has a who has the ability, you know, who you now know their special ability, Simone. They can hear the uh, thoughts of everyone around them. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> and can only ever speak telepathically. It's why they don't have a mouth. Yes, yes, that is how they are made. My sisters, they are well. You can tell for yourself. Uh huh. Did not know this. I feel like everyone can read read people's mind lately. <sighs> Reading minds and speaking telepathically are different skills. I 
guess. Huh. Nice to meet you. <laughs> she gives, she closes her eyes and gives a small nod of her head. But uh, yes, just in case there's, if there is any thoughts while in the in the presence of Vama, uh, Vama uh, Bamaputra, uh, yes, that is her special ability. But uh, hey, <laughs> Julian, what's up? All right, I'm going to wear Klotzos. Mm hmm Where I left Klotz and uh, Zion. Mm -hmm. Alice and uh, Lucina are there, kind of looking down at the three. Huh. Ah, oh, you two are up here. Lu That's good. Lucina just like, I, I suppose, I suppose you guys are talking to the head honchos, or uh, we're about do they just be. look important? I oh, okay. Think they're... Damn. I, I honestly don't know. They definitely look a bit more imposing. Yeah, yeah, they do. Uh, can you two uh, look out for Zeon? Mm. Over here, for a bit. I look for yeah. Klutz. Actually, you see the... Klutz giving you like a head turn, turn, turn. Like, come on, don't make me do this. Klutz, like I, they look, they look scared. Okay, what's the deal? I can't say that. All right, come on, don't, don't come, just, come on. come on, just be a bro. I, I'm trying to be, but you need, you need to work with me. I know them. Okay, that's that's it. Okay, just yeah, and apparently you know. they want to talk to you. And funny enough, them talking to you comes before anything else we want to find out. Oh, fuck. That's the condition they put in. Okay. So, okay. Why, why is the issue? Oh, we'll talk about it. All right. Just. <laughs> Just... Fucking. They won't talk with you guys if I don't go. All right. Okay. Okay. Fuck it. All on right. one condition. What's your condition? Or Tash has to play. She has to play cards with me, with that deck. And he has to say nothing but nice things to me for one day. He can't get out of it, too, by just not talking to me. <laughs> what happened? Oh, uh, hey, bud. What's Even up? better. Let what me, happened? Let me, go on, let me go and give him your conditions, okay? <laughs> I, I run back. I run back to her. Cartesh and so on What the fuck is going on? So there, there wouldn't come, but they have a, a couple of conditions. Oh, fucking One, they want uh -huh. you to play cards with them with the deck, you, <laughs> the deck you have. And two, uh -huh. you need to say only nice things about them for one day and <laughs> not and it doesn't count if you just don't talk to them <laughs> this isn't too bad Cortez he's gritting his fucking teeth <laughs> That's exactly why he knows why that's exactly why she knows. It's like, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> a 
I know, it's so fantastic. I agree, Felix. <laughs> Who did this, Felix? No, no, I see, I see the fact that you missed the first part and now hear it now. It's even funnier. <sighs> Fuck! Alright, alright. I look at Simone. I mean, this for one day. <laughs> I have a face. He has a face. You know that face when, like, you're done talking to Excalibur, the face? <laughs> the face? Yes, I have that face. Cartas, don't look like that. No, it's just for one day. You just gotta play cards with them. <laughs> it won't kill you. <laughs> Fine, I agree. Hmm. On one condition. <laughs> okay, what's your condition? After this is done, he has to flip a coin I have. <laughs> okay. That's it. I, I run back. <laughs> oh my god, you can mentally communicate. <laughs> I, I know, but I want to say this to his face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> get thoughts. So he agreed. I want uh, this. I want oh, condition. Oh no! Uh, you need to flip a coin. He has. Sure. The second I get thumbs, I'm sure we'll figure something out. But you need to flip a coin. Not a deal. Okay. Now come on. We'll talk the to fuck the coin. for you to have an issue. <laughs> oh, she wants it, bro. She wants it. I'm going in. <laughs> yeah, I Let's... come back with Let's could... in towel. Cuts could fly. Could cuts could fly. But you know, like when you're dragging your feet, they're very they're walking down rather than gliding down. I I'm doing the thing where I'm dragging the dog by leash. He just lies down, gets pulled along. <laughs> Yeah, like you have, like you're just holding them by their saddle, and they're w taking their steps. But it's like a, a I don't wanna. The other four girls are just looking at this. <laughs> Give us yeah. shrug. They're all girls, yeah. yeah. They're all looking down. You know, you know what that's about. Nope. But mm -hmm. this will be funny because they don't want to see them. If I and then, clutch just as yeah. <laughs> and I get through with Plutz. Plutz is there, is looking down at it. So, do you even know that? There are fake Nile. You, you say that, and Nile just like, yes, they are. Plutz, darling. Hello, Nile. Hmm. Hmm. The elder wishes to speak with you. Yes, I, I, I heard. Real quick, yeah. I, have, yeah. I have a guess of what the fuck it is. Mm -hmm. Plutz and them fucked a long time ago, or some shit like that. They had a fling. I've heard. All right, I, I, heard, I, I, heard. I, I got that guess twice. Oh, you did! I Damn it! it. I think yeah, no, no, chill. Put that in chat. I think it's an old master uh, scenario. Maybe. Any other mm. guesses? <laughs> they ate something from them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Alright. I don't think that's right. the reason. Mm, will, will, will then look to look to Klutz and look to the look to all of the ones of the members in attendance. And her water gourd, she turns in the air. It's more of like a water hourglass, but it looks like a gourd. She holds, she flips it and presses it into the water and the water doesn't freeze. It solidifies and creates steps going up and then going straight towards the center of the uh, oasis. I see. Uh, 
And Niall, standing on this, stand, is actually standing on the water, like on the, the water platforms now. I will stand on it. Allow me to escort you. <clears throat> no. Allow me to escort you. This will be interesting as it has been at least two, two decades since a druid or shaman came here. And at least, <coughs> and at least five since one came here for a meeting. Hmm. I overheard this information was for a library, am I correct? Yep. Hmm. That was actually around 50 years ago, I believe. A druid came looking for a library. Uh, we pointed them to uh, the one that sunk, as we had heard from a stormhawk that had come here. I'm curious, actually. The stormhawks. Any more? Yes. No, this is no, this is me, Daz, because of a oh. show called Stormhawks, and it was oh. super um. cool. <laughs> and... Oh. Oh. So, I believe, I believe that it will be important. Um, there was actually a tempest that was hurt recently, infected. We had, we could not, well, rather, it could not make it here. I wonder oh. where it is now. Julian, you you remember uh, the tempest, <laughs> along with uh, some you know another creature that were doing battle in the desert when you had that little blackout. Huh. You purified it of a, of that thing that was inside it. Oh. Huh. Huh. <laughs> oh, oh, the huh. Huh. No, it's, huh. The, uh, huh. Huh. <laughs> no, it's just they were asking. Like, I wonder where it went. Like, I have no fucking idea where it is now. <laughs> God only knows, you know. I knew where it was. No, no, that wasn't a tempest. That was just a greater water elemental. Hmm. Or oh, they're talking about the water elemental under the city that we cleaned. No, that's not a tempest. That was, I know. Yeah, that's, that's not. Cheer was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. Chiro thought that was it. No. No, no. Tempests are tornadoes. <laughs> they're living tornadoes. I mean, assuming it's the same one, last I seen them, they were down south. In the Sand Sea? Hmm. Hmm, that's concerning. Why would it be concerning? Because, uh, Ab actually, no, Niagara will actually speak up at this. It is problematic because there are many aberrant creatures that have made their way to the sand sea they permeate much of this desert but the sand sea seems to be a pardon the pun a hive for them <clears throat> i see Cortes. Demons fight Trust them, which is... Demons fight them, which is at least something. The ones that we do actually know of, some demons, a... 
they pollute the waters in an area, and they are powerful, and they seem to be fighting back the aberrant scourge. But it's not much better to have those things running around. Here. Luckily, they, unfortunately, they stick to water, but I assume that is a lucky break for all of you. I guess so. Yeah, they seem to have been infected with what I assume was an aberration. Though I'm uh, not mm -hmm. entirely sure. Managed they were to... losing their mind. Mm, but we believe so. Managed to purify them. You did? Yeah. Mm. Wait, which well, one? Then. The one uh, this is uh, before we uh, met up with you, but there were two. Um, one that I assume was this Tempest roundabout. Another one was a... Uh, giant mechanical bird I think something like a rock and they were both uh, infected with something and uh, honestly it's a bit of a haze but I managed to purify them both of something oh I've actually seen that creature that infected them one other time, and it was with Koratash, that bear that was walking through the desert that was being puppeted. Right. It's Wow, that's so it... long ago. <laughs> yeah. It just... Ah, it takes me back. Does like the, fi the fist in the palm. Like, it was the same as what was infecting that bear we saw. Oh. Uh... That seems to be a particular scourge of aberration. One that is focused on taking control of an individual. It does not kill them, but it takes control of them. Their body does is still alive, ah. but it dies over time since it does not have any of the normal safeguards against Degradation. I, mem I, I remember in a similar case that when we met up with that water elemental, Julian. Uh, where there was an aberration like living inside of it that we had to separate from it. Hmm. Oh, you mean the water elemental you guys were gonna leave? But I jumped in. <laughs> yeah, I'm throwing you guys under the bus in front of the water elemental ladies. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our, our you right. hear you did. Vamaputra in your head specifically, Kortash. Not cool. But it's funny as I communicate back in their head. Mm -hmm. As Niall gives a small chuckle. Niagara does not. <laughs> but does smirk. Vamaputra does not seem to find it amusing. Fair enough. They seem like a hard ass. I'll make them laugh one day. <laughs> new, new goal. Make her laugh. Make the hard ass laugh. As, uh... Uh, the aberration that was infecting the water elemental seemed different than the one than the ones that you had encountered be uh, in those cases. But it does show that there is a problem with things being taken over. You, you all must understand, it is not 
easy. Not many creatures can control us. Usually it takes powerful magic. For something, for something, especially a physical being, to be able to survive a tempest and latch itself on somehow and puppet it, this is a disturbing occurrence and we could not risk infection to this place. So we, since we had no solution, we could only send it off. And if it pulled itself, if this creature pulled it in the direction of the Sand Sea, I can only imagine what was drawing it there. I see. Perhaps not a danger for the immediate, but something that is most concerning. Hmm. Hmm. And there is there any other conversations on the way? Hmm. No, I don't have anything to say. Any questions you two have to ask before you reach your destination? And the proposal is essentially in place. The conditions are in place, rather. No, I don't. Or at least. All right. Out of curiosity, why the desert, out of all places, uh, for there to be a meeting here? Well, the only other place suitable is far too difficult for many different types of elementals to reach. Hmm. And the Oasis of Stars was a place of power, is a place of power and was once looked after by a powerful fae. A fae that, oh fuck, man, oof, uh, boy, this was a while ago. Good lord, I have to go into my notes for this one. Whoo, this is a bit. Fucking Irina finds out about this fae. Uh, what do you think, here. yeah, yeah. <sighs> um uh fuck I can't find it that's frustrating I'd have to go back to the recording and get the name since mm. I do not have it written down uh do you all remember the staff the name the name of the fae that was uh of the this of the broken staff in the slaver's uh trophy room Oh fuck! I don't. I don't imagine you to remember the name. Oh, wow, that was a that's a deep pull. The fuck? That is. Uh, no, I didn't write it down. So I didn't think it was important. Yeah, exactly. Um, I forgot to write that down in my area, but I'll have to go back and grab that name. Um, that she gives the name of that fay, which. It's been a few weeks, so it's fair if you guys don't remember it, but, uh, yeah, no. That's... you know? That's... that's that name, it tickles like a... feel like you've heard it or read it somewhere before. Yeah. Kind of response. Alright. Um... A powerful fae once lived here and watched over this place of power. And now, with them gone, it required some guardian, or it would just be left quiet. So, since she was able to, she took it upon herself to 
use this place and the place of power that resides here to call home. She did so before, but for a short time had to leave due to this Fae requesting that they go far away for a time. All of you can suspect, and especially you, Samo, with your investigation, that Faye probably knew that somebody was coming for them. Mm. And, you know, it would make sense that the problems in the desert happened a really long time ago. Huh. Then that lady... A uh, few hundred years. Hmm. How long ago did that, uh, Faye leave? Or... <sighs> disappeared? Three hundred or so years ago? Perhaps a bit more, but I was not present at the time. I was busy. I was busy elsewhere. We have, uh, we have a friend that's been affected by the Oasis of Stars. Ah. Yes, this pool of water is magical, and when Fey are present. It can even have dangerous effects if no one are if no one is there to keep it in check. Hmm. Well, our friend sort of time jumped. Uh, you don't know that. Wait, what? I th I thought Irina what? only told to Julian about that. Oh wait. Uh, 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 I mean, or, or you you do know uh, she only spoke to you personally about the events that transpired. But the fact that she is about as old as her daughter uh, kind of gives something away. Yeah, that's her. Okay. Also, Clark and her were, you know. So you all know it's just only you know the specifics. Okay. Like, only you know what transpired right before and what it was like. Okay. Okay, that's my bad then. Sorry. Mm -hmm. mm. And are you curious on if that is possible? more curious on why did that happen uh that since they want to know well it is probably because no one was present to protect them as fey do protect humans mm -hmm. from time to time and the Oasis of Stars does have a powerful confluence of magic beneath it. For instance, there's a place of power here, and I don't know if any of you are able to feel it, but there's a ley line beneath us. In the waters beneath this oasis, a quite large and powerful ley line runs through this river and it become and it strengthens here hmm interesting but yes Thank you. Uh, 
I don't think mm -hmm. shamans can connect to ley lines, yeah? Uh, no, that would be a specific thing. Like, they yeah, could that's, that's maybe true. learn, but that's like a offshoot kind of thing of you'd have to kind of dedicate yourself to connect into ley lines. That, it, that is a specialization. It's a specialization, precisely. Yeah. Any shaman technically can, but it's a special, you have to focus on that. It is a matter of learning. Yeah. It takes a while. Yeah, no, I just want to, uh, you know, you never know. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Technically, you can learn lay magic, but you have to, you'd have to take time. Um, as, yeah. You see this small stone, well, it looks to be hut, that looks like it is being held above the water by the mound of earth ben um, that is beneath it. It almost as if the grassy mound has come up from the water to grab onto this stone and lift it out of it, out of the water. As uh, Niall stops, and motions for the two motions for you three to walk in once right. you pass these doors your conditions will be in effect mm -hmm. okay i wish you all luck on whatever you came here for Handsome young men like yourselves should be careful. Oh. All right. Thank, thank you, and I wish you luck on whatever, I, whatever you're trying to accomplish. <laughs> Yeah. She just looks at you with like that like older woman kind of like cougar look. Oh, oh no. Yeah, she's not, nah. Oh my god. Oh, god. <laughs> kind of it's because it's like ah uh, he's stumbling ah uh, he's 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 stumbling over his words. Ah. Uh, uh, only he was older. Cortez will say when he leaves. <laughs> yeah. Uh well, see you in uh how long did you say it was? Decade? Two? Sometimes less. Oh, for a year? Yeah. Two decades. No. Uh, that, that should see that. for you nicely. I'll see you then. Bye bye. Make you nice and ripe. <laughs> Julian <laughs> <laughs> just does the slow head shake as he's laughing to himself as he goes in. Nice <laughs> lady. I love the image of old man Cortez. Ah, uh, that's what you meant. <laughs> oh, well, I'm a, we're just. Uh... Oh, that's a long time to wait for a story. Wait, why are you? Oh, that's what you meant. Oh, you're pulling out your pants. Wait, 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 why are you going towards my pants? Wait, wait. oh god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. As we will end session with this, as all of you walk in, Klutz walking behind. Uh, let me just grab their names. They, they said but... me. I'll say that after. Hi, sure. Uh, everything is fine. What's the worst that Klutz did? Oh, fucked his you really, fucked that's, husband. That is fucked, that is who you fucked. Either their husband, wife, child ate them, or something worse. You know, I don't, is, I don't think it's fucking. I, I don't think it's fucking, or that they're an ex. Because from no, no. What I, what I'm saying is, Clark. Clutch, you, you said the, what's the worst that it could have been? Oh. A lot of things. <laughs> A lot of things could happen that Clutch could have done. 
From what I understand, Klutz mellowed the fuck out when he met you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There's a lot. I'm talking about war crimes. Geneva Convention? More like Geneva Suggestion. That's, that's what Klutz was. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not, do list. I mean, it's not, it's not <laughs> genocide. There's still plenty of, the, I've been of those doing creatures this before around. I've had a name. <laughs> no, no, Klutz is Hitler? that old. He took, he took... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Klutz isn't that old. Klutz was, Klutz was born right around our time, like right around the year, like 2000. Oh, now I hate like him even more. Fuck. The millennial. Oh. <laughs> As you two walk in. Oh no, they're hot. As the two of you, as you all walk in, you're greeted by these by these two women. I might get a better face account for one of them. <clears throat> by these two. They look to you. It is a pleasure to meet you, Shaman of Wind. But before we conduct any business with you and your companions, our elder, our eldest sister, wishes to speak with Klutz. As Klutz is there in the back, hiding behind all of you. I moved to the side. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. This I'll is where. You... No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Das, Das, follow me on this one, right? All right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> this is where Cortez gives Klutz their grand entrance because he has to be nice with them. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, you be. Of, of course, Klutz. The Fae that has slaughtered many. No, destroyed... you can't do that because you have to speak honestly. I know they killed many. Yes, but you have to say nice things. Yeah, that's nice. Klutz would be ecstatic to be said that I have slaughtered thousands. I'm basically stroking their dick right now, if they had one. Klutz, of course. The man, or the woman, I don't know they're a woman yet, do I? Yeah, you do. Alright. He, yeah. The being, a grand fey being, that has destroyed and <laughs> slaughtered many an enemy for us, taken down many a foe, and uh, aided us in many of a travel. Their hunger knows no bounds, for they are always hungering for their next... I don't want to say victim, but for their next prey. Klutz is right here. And I pat Klutz on the shoulder. I hate you. I hate you. Um, you know, before I eat Julian, I'll make sure to eat you. And the and the hungering for mortal flesh, ha, 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 Klutz presents themselves to your elder, your older sister, to retribute for whatever they did, and or to catch up for whatever they did. Here's Klutz. I push Klutz forward. Are you piece of shit? They're here to. Accept and talk out and or work out anything that may have done in the past. I, I, and they I think are, they get it. I think they get it. I think they get it. They are willing to take any retribution that you may have for them. For they're honorable. That's a lie. Yeah, you can't speak lies. Right. For they are not honorable, but they do not want to owe favors to anybody. Mm, that's true, though. I just walk oh. back. Did they just walk by Julian? I 
slot, 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 uh, 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 my portage. What did they do to you? <laughs> they know what they did. <laughs> slight, bit, slight bit of hesitation as he passes Julian, but, yeah. There's no violent attack, so Klutz isn't going to die. I know that for a fact. Klutz isn't going to die. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, Klutz, after such a grand entrance, don't you think you should come forward? <laughs> as Klutz is... As uh, Klutz is walking forward... Hi, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's been a while. Indeed it has, Klutz. As coming out of the water, you see this very beautiful woman that it's hard to fully, hmm, I think it's better just that I show you. Tiggle bitties. It is nice to see you again, Klutz. Oh. After all, you haven't. You haven't stopped by. Ah, it's just because, um. I. Remember that you have to speak the truth. All right. So I'm just going to be quiet then. Oh. It's nice to see you, Klutz. Despite what you might be thinking. But I do have to reprimand you. Okay. For what? Oh, for so many things. After all, I am the one who raised you. <clears throat> oh, oh shit! <laughs> and we were oh, oh. there. We Your were in session there. Your mom is so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's even. That's. I, I love. I, 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 there's a perfect image in my mind of all three of the boys just having a <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do want to make a canon that that's, the court just says, "Oh, you're in so much trouble." And just from Julian's side, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> huh. That's all. That's all I you get from Simone. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> so yeah, that's the, the end of session. Oh. All right. All right, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is, was raised by a water elemental. <laughs> I knew I hated him for a reason. <laughs> so, um. The so water clubs respect me. I'm an elephant. I'm uh, a shaman, goddamn it! <laughs> Why doesn't Klutz respect a lot of things? Fair enough. Oh boy. Ganges, uh, the Ganges River. Yeah, I, One of I the know all the oldest rivers, rivers yeah. on the <laughs> earth. On the, on the fucking planet. Man. Uh. I can't believe next session we're gonna see um, this water elemental take out her belt. And just uh, get the fuck out. <laughs> They're you going to. You guys, you guys are gonna learn about uh, a little bit about Klutz and what they've done because uh, Genghis raised Klutz and has heard some of what Klutz has done. Oh and, um... yeah, boy. Oh yeah, Sean. Oh yeah. Right, <laughs> what? Stop, stop recording now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye now. Mm -hmm.